You know you can pee without pooping, but you can't poop without peeing. Poop could always be pee, could do pee, but pee you could never, never be poop. poop. <laughs> That's on period. What and period could never do pee. You yeah, what's with that? I think it's dangerous. Who's playing it? Um, brushed linen, fibers. I love it. The wiggle. I love you it. love it. I do. Because I ever get a pee? Um, yes, because I put that piece on in your apartment, uh, a men's wig, and I was uh, in, enchanted. And transported Wrong. to another realm. Yeah. There is a there is a man I know that we know, um, that we both know. Let's just say. There's a boy I know. He, he wears, wears a wig. <laughs> it's yeah. so glued to his head. You would never ever know. Um, and it's I was like, wow. I wanted um, I I really wanted to do like outings as a, a different kind of um, man character or just a man character let's say well i think there's two camps there's the people who i don't want to camp i don't like that so there's the people who wear the wiglet and have everyone around them convinced it's real and the people who are like yeah i just thought i'd put it on tonight Woo, it's wig night you know what i mean like men like marco monroe we all know it's a wig yeah, that's the fun do. of it yeah so i'm somewhere in the middle we're out we all know it's a wiglet but i'm gonna keep it i'm, don't have to I'm tell. going to the grave with that secret with that secret. The unit. Yeah, the unit and I. Code of silence. And you, even though you're trying to have no one notice, you keep fussing with it the whole time you're there. Yeah, and the glue is, is always coming off. And it, sometimes it just completely it's falls off. And I go, oh, shoot. Look right. over there. Yeah, I try to do that. And then, yeah. But um, I like that. I mean, I wish men would. Well, I don't I wish men would do anything. I wish men would. Yeah. But um, it is fun to wear with it. Uh, people, should, people should wear more wigs. Normal people should wear more wigs. I don't know why it's, um, well, normal people do wear wigs, but just for some reason, like, just the men's situation is, like, so, well, it's like, um, African-American community, women, wigs, no big deal. Your grandma, oh, yeah. wigs, yeah. no big deal. Mm -hmm. And then, the, in the middle, there's not enough, there should be more wigs in general. Uncle Bob cannot admit at Thanksgiving, at 55 years old, that that's a toupee, otherwise. Right! Yeah. People should just be like, oh, I put a wig on. Like, toupees are the tampons of the, of the men's wigs. If I was a normal man and I had, let's say, a hairstyle, I think I would get a wig. Like if I, like I would get a wig of my a hair, a wig of my hair, and just wear that. Like Nick Clark Kidman. Instead of you sitting in a makeup chair, you can walk in and put on the wig and leave. That's why every movie has wigs. That's why they do wigs because the person doesn't want to sit in the chair. Um, well, think about the wear and tear on your actual hair, and also continuity. The wig is about it's little, it's continuity. You know, like, but here's the thing though, in terms of wiggery. Um, someone was noticing the other day, like, when did wigs become noticeable? Because in the 30s, 40s, 50s, all, they were all wearing wigs, and that wig game was It was an HD television, bitch. I guess so. Eight millimeter it film. It a hard front wig on. Also, people don't know as much yeah, about wigs. it's cost, though. I mean, that's not HD, but it's still close up. It's right there. You never think wig. It's all flawlessly done back in the day. And now it's like boo-boo nasty. Is it because of... I was watching Killing Eve and I was like, I saw um, Wet uh, Lake on that character and I was like, oh shit, there is that sticky uh, glue on that, uh, the temples of that character is lace Well, do you remember like there's that iconic picture of Beyonce singing where she's like scrunching her face and you can see the wig ripple, the lace ripple? Like that's gay. That's the actual, that's totally different. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking about on camera, editable, re doable. You know, that's like a live action picture. But like in movies and stuff. You know, they do glimmer glass on, um, just like RuPaul has done on her on, uh, doing the film. They do. Or they do. Have you always... Never mind. I was going to ask, have you always been not good at doing wigs? But why would you have been good and then quit? That doesn't make any sense. When did you stop getting good <laughs> at that? <laughs> when did you decide to suck shit? Well, no, I, th when I remember learning about wigs because I didn't know any drag thinking about wigs. And I was like, I'm going to have to figure this shit out. I never learned about wigs, obviously. Um... You learned about selling a wig. Uh, yes, I learned about that. How'd you learn to sell? The streets? The, 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 the school of hard needles. Needles up my ass. Fashion Institute of New York. That's, yeah, no, I mean, I, I wrote about that for a little thing. A little um, subset thing. Oh, sewing? Let me tell you about this. Well, I already told the thing. Let's repeat a, a, an in-print story. Um, well, before you say that, subscribe to our Substack. Oh, yes, it is a newsletter, and you're, I know what you're saying. Oh, 1983 called and wants a stupid idea back. But no, it's great. It's great. It's called Goop. And we are giving you, I don't know what you call it, Mama, we're giving you live 
We're giving you um, yes, drama. Yes, 12 steps to being a diva. 12 steps to being a fierce diva, How honey. How to work and own your diva miss. Yes. Oh. What pair of pumps do we, you wear to brunch, bitch? How do I find my fucking fierce faggot? <laughs> Let's get fierce with that contouring diva. See you at brunch, bitch. Stick a fucking firework up that time. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know me about my birth and you don't know about my workflow, diva bitch. I just bombed the capital. <laughs> yeah. See you on January 6th. Girl boss. <laughs> so that's basically subscribe. And it's fun. And it's free or you can pay. There's a lot of options. Um, I did ignore. I did. I did inter interrupt you. Uh -huh. Talking about wigs and learning to sew. And you were going to say something. Yeah. So um, back in the day, this is before Drag Race, many years, I'd probably say it was 2010, 2012. For $80, I went to Sears and I bought a brother sewing machine. Mm -hmm. This is a boot suit and old brother sewing machine on, on sale, $80. I have used that same sewing machine until this day, even this morning, to create 80% of the garments I have worn before, during, and after that. Do you think that your garments are going to make people want I need, I need you to just, I need you to just come with me for a second. <laughs> you you too you? can look come like a tired like old show head. You too can look like a sea hag that has like washed ashore in the 1700s and has been preserved in jelly. Yeah. No. You too can look like a hooker who's daylighting at Joanne Fabric. I would like to draw the attention to the very real observable fact that these garments have that hundreds, actually thousands of dollars on the international marketplace. You're right. But some of them are fierce, right? Honestly. Yes, they are. I mean, don't even get me started. I'm not talking about good construction. No, I've harassed you enough. I think you should start a small, limited edition, limited number line of dresses. So this is where, this is where our personal styles and philosophies have diverged. Because that would be taking something that I'm passionate about, a hardy, if you will and turning it into a workflow, which would mean miserable. So I like to preserve this, like, Harvey, hobby. I like to put <laughs> Harvey fully loaded. Harvey. <laughs> I, <laughs> at the wig for once, this lady darling said, you ever think about getting a Harvey? It's been hobby. Harvey? Yes. Anyway. A Harvey? Har a Harvey. So it stuck with me. You said, do you want Hardy? What do you think? No, saying? her name is Darling. She said Darlene. But she was, Darlene had a Harvey. And did you want a Harvey? Yes. So, but it's just for me. It gives me joy. Anyway, it sounds like she was reading. Like you were talking about your feelings. She goes, yeah, you ever think of getting a hobby? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see, yeah, I'll see that a lot. Um, but uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I just want it to be for me. And the satisfaction, you know, of making a garment with your like own hands and, and then wearing it and then getting tips and then... It's a rush. It's lovely. It's, it's the full... It makes your night. The full cycle of satisfaction. The full cycle of creation. Yeah. It's yeah. very exciting to have a gig and you're so excited to wear your new thing that you made. Yes. And somebody goes, I like your outfit. And it takes a quarter of a second to go, I just made it. Yeah. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> look at the zipper. Look at the zipper. Look at the zipper. Actually, yeah. don't look at the zipper. This it's kind of crooked and yeah. up the back. I'm actually a very good zipper. I'm a, I'm a zipper girl. I'm the zipper girl. Zipper's our topic. That's on stretch out. But they always end up puckering for me. I get that zig down. What are you doing? Who would play Who would play her? <laughs> Um, <laughs> what's your name? Holly Hunter. Holly Hunter in Top of the Lake. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, um, but it's, it's so, it's so satisfying. Because, let's be honest, stage wear, Mary, anybody checking for lining? Who cares? For, who the fuck cares? Does it shine? Do you look amazing? Wonderful. Can it last three shows? Can you Even better. it? Yeah. Can you do it? Is it custom tailored to your nasty, irregularly sized body? Uh -huh. Yes, it is, because I've tried it on 14 times because I don't know how to measure it. So you don't have a pattern of your I body? I do now that. I do now that. And you literally it. made it maybe two months Is ago. Is it a bodice or what? It's just um, sleeves and uh, a mini dress, like bodycon mini dress for the new pattern. Paper. You never had it until now? This is what I would do. I would take an old, whatever I had just worn and use that as a pattern. Sometimes I ran out. Like so it's like I, a game of telephone by dress number 10. But you're like, do I have a hump back? Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. How many goiters do I actually have? Yeah, <laughs> it was like so crazy. So insane, too. But the, the thing there was that different fabrics have different threads because I don't only do knit. I don't know how to do non stick fabric because that involves precision. You don't know how to do darts? Or like, I know I do darts, but I don't know like how to do Like a fitted bodice? Yeah, I can do that with stuff. Like on a cat suit, you have to do the darts in the back. Otherwise, yeah. you, know. so you just do it. You just do... A flat body with the back darts, right? 
if you the way that I do a tattoo, I fold the fabric in twice in four, and then I make one cut, and that's it. Yeah. It's like a magic trick. It's, like, it's super boring. It's like a very boring magic trick. That's not magical at all. A Russian pop, blaring at ear splitting levels. Ear splitting. While you cut out one shape, one shape for like, two and a half yeah, days. Yeah. <sighs> but now that I have that pattern, oh, I just any fabric. Oh, pattern. What about the heartbreak of uh, tendonitis from cutting sequin fabric and shit mm. like that? That's the, the pizza cutter. I the rotary cutter? I got the pizza cutter. The rotary cutter? Yeah. And I fucking, I got a ruler, I got a thing, we got a table, it's a whole deal. And I fucking rip into that four layer of like, it's like deep dish fucking sequin pizza. Chicago style. Yeah. Uh, goggles. You gotta put goggles on. The goggles. You gotta put goggles on. The flying bees? through the air. You ever hit hammered beads? You ever hammered beads for a scene? Hey, there's nothing worse than cleaning up after sewing sequins, too. Half sequins, you'll find it for six months. If you have rugs, sequins, never. Silver. Never. Sequins in your anus, sequins in on your titties. Get into this. You know when I used, I started dry doing Rocky Horror back in the day? Mm -hmm. And you know, during Rocky Horror, they throw toast, they throw rice, you know, so much all crap. the props. Yeah. Yeah. Prop queens. So much detritus. The first time I did Rocky, I was like 18, and I remember it was on a Saturday. And the next day, Sunday, I found a piece of rice in my piss hole, in my piss slit. A piece of rice. And you know what? It had cooked. <laughs> Pasta doubles, rice triples. <laughs> I love rice. Me too. I love basmati from fancy chicken. Mo <laughs> Most of the time, rice is the only level of effort I'm willing to make. Listen, how about this? Look at this. Rice and seaweed. You got your starch, you got your cake in. <laughs> We're taking a break! Oh. Oh. Miso soup and a little bit of rice. I, and you know what else is great? When I'm really busy, mm -hmm. I eat like um, Pime A in Kill Bill. Yeah. Like, like a bowls dog. of rice only. And I'm like, I gotta eat. What's oh, going like on? This okay. one little sad cup of rice? Yeah. Great. Oh, no cup of rice is sad. A, a, a well-cooked rice, whether it's sticky steamed rice or basmati from Venti, um, I don't even need any seasoning on it. It's oiled so well. Do you like the, do you like the Panda Express? N nasty malt Chinese Sometimes I don't know whether to put it in my mouth or right at my mouth. They have it in the pavilions in Hollywood. The pavilions, the pavilions grocery store has. You can get it. There's the a whole operating thing with them. Like when you leave the grocery store, there's a Pan Express there, and I'm gooning. I'm in there gooning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you go to buy food instead of shopping for groceries, you eat the Pan Express and go pizza. home. Just orange chicken, white rice, and maybe a little steam, a little uh, dumpling. I may have told you this, before, but I watched this stuff, and there's these two people talking about the movie Frozen, yeah. and one of them goes, you like the movie Frozen? And the other person goes, I love the movie Frozen! I've never seen it. But they were dead serious. Like, they love the idea of it, the fantasy of it, but they've actually never seen it. Isn't that great? That is so weird. Love it. Uh, yeah, just, I, just it, it, enthusiastic in general. The positivity. Yeah. I love saying, that. It's, it's the rule of improv. Instead of going, yeah, I've never seen it. No. No. Shut the door. You go, yes, I love it. I've never seen and it. And it's not, it's not the energy of like, yeah, I saw people here. I, I read it. you and I like yeah, 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 yeah. Do you lie? How many times have you lied today? Sometimes I say I've seen movies because I don't care to hear that much about it. Sure. But today, how many times did you lie? I don't, I mean, I'm reading this book by psychiatrists because most of us tell me the one thing to do that. I don't think that's what we like. Mark came in and said, why did we reschedule on Monday? We hung over or something? I got, yeah. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Sure what? Yeah. Um, when was the last time you lied? M maybe, it's, I'm not saying I don't lie, I'm saying maybe I lie too regularly that I don't even know. It's, I think, yeah, that was the yeah. lie. The lies line of my mouth fast yeah. yeah. But you know what, they're, it's of course self-interested in my lie. Mm -hmm. But it's usually to like minimize someone else's hurt. Of, or, like, of course. Make a comp like, like, when's the last time you lied? Oh, um, three seconds ago? Uh, 13 seconds ago? Probably you 10 don't seconds before that. Either. No, I mean, I, I mean, I'm not good at it anymore. I'm not very good at it anymore. You can, t I mean, it's like, you're, you'll tell. You can tell. Well, I remember when we got to Cambridge in Australia, 
I was like, what are they going to do? And they're like, I can't lie. I don't lie. I wish we could have done that. Thing. Me I too. know we this is probably the fifteenth time we told this conversation. I know. But I never I never said this. I wish I would have just known to tell the truth. Duh. I felt like an adult who was a baby. Yes. Why did I think I was national security, uh catch me if you can, wasting people's time. Uh, my time, your time, their time, There's everybody's time. The Nobody of cared. Time, the fans time. Nobody cared. It was just you should have you should have said yes to the performance, you don't have the right to do it. Exactly. Can we help us get it? Yes, yeah. Just up front, no lie. Who is trying to lie? The government officials. We're not drug us, mules. Us, We're not Maria drug full mules. Of grace. Yeah. Maria Bamford full of grace. I guess the one tidbit we could share at this point is that I did have 16 kilos of black tar hidden in my vagina. So I guess the well, black tar heroin. No, 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 no. Just, just black tar, tar. Tar. You know, pulled. You were planning on doing a. Dri- you planning on doing a driveway when you got to Australia. Exxon. <laughs> I gotta lay down a driveway in Brizzy. I gotta get these. I gotta pave these. <laughs> Briz Vegas. Briz Vegas. I gotta pave Briz Vegas. G- uh, no, Zylar in DNA Slick are back to give up in Briz Vegas. Eating Briz with Briz. Oh my god, that is so bad. And not Australian or New Zealand. I gotta tell you some crazy idiots. What? Those poor celebrities get photographed. Poor? But th- they can't go do anything. Yeah. What do I mean, photographs? Those like A list people, they yeah. can't do anything. Right. One of my friends who's super A-list said that they can't go on a boat with their friends on vacation, let's say, without fishing boats going by mm-hmm. and trying to catch the same fish that they're catching. The person said, oh, like, like, the person said, you look at the fishing boat, you notice that you see a little glint of glass, and you notice that it's someone pretending to fish while someone with a camera is crouched behind them. Oh, it's like any someone on the ding dong at the mountain that could be kind of old. Yes. Yeah. Bone, bones sticking out. So speaking of bones uh, sticking out, Princess Diana, how many times are we going to have to exhume the corpse of this poor woman for uh, entertainment purposes? And Even every time I played her, I who would play her? Not me. Not me. Even I had to well, play her. Well, they need her. to get the heavy lifting actresses. Yeah. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart, me, um, <coughs> Naomi Watts. I mean, all try to pick us out of lineup. We're all the same. So it's, yeah. Why? Why? It's the same in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Why? And the whole thing was, oh, she was just a regular woman. Okay, great. Mary. She's on the crown right now. Yeah, There's no like more Princess Diana. The most incredible story ever told. Once that family gives up all their gold and feeds the English needy or whatever cures AIDS in, in Africa, it's, then just let it go. Give up the ghost. Give up the ghost of the, of the dead Y'all woman. Y'all chased that bitch into the tunnel and killed her, and now we're just gonna, like, we're, we're Monetizing. flinging C-notes at her corpse. That being said, if you died, Mama, you better milk that for all of If you don't think I would do some kind Mama. of Share Sonny Just Died press tour. Mama, I need you to have multiple hands milking. Mary, multiple The milking. hardcover novel, it's yeah. Out of the Darkness, Sidney Prescott, the novel, the miniseries, the, the album, play, the adaptation, the, the rights to the screenplay, the makeup palette, the makeup palette, and then the line of merchandise, grieving wear, grief leisure. Oh, Mama, grief leisure. Um, Yes, it'd be like makeup looks for people in bales. Yeah, morning bales. You're you're very in shape, but your friend is always on the fridge. You lose it. Yeah. You have, donut store, get a, you have a donut place getting a morning bun? Yeah. Get a morning bale. A morning bun, a crying bun. Crying. We, it, I would be on the view. Yeah. Ready, and I'd be like, I'm ready to talk about what really happened. That's yeah. how I would get an Ellen. Yeah. Once you die, everything's going to open up for me. Yeah. And you'll be like, and you, it's got to be strategic, and you'll know intuitively when to kind of like, you know, You'll have the, there'll be a sick sense of like when to when to actually know. You have well, you have to wait. Of course, no, that's what I'm talking about. You have to go into like a three month. No one's seen or heard from her. She's hiding. She's healing. Yes. And you have to do. You have to flip because people are going to assume you're going into these stages of grief. And you gotta you gotta flip the script every time. One once I once people find out about me, I need to be in the throes of some kind of mental illness or addiction. And then I need to, it needs to be your misfortune mm-hmm. that catapults Catapult me you into a, a, in oh. a obscure, and it was first, it was used as a coping mechanism, yeah. but then it became, you know, whip it every morning with French toast, or, you know, or, you know, or like, um, yeah, the, the whip it every morning French toast, poppers at the club, gooning at the club. You were writing my elegy on the, um, on the, on the, the keyboard, the and then you used elegy. the dust off to get the, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. first thing. And then when I finally come back, mm-hmm. I've colored my hair. Yeah. I'm wearing a chunky cable knit sweater, yeah. turtleneck, and I'm on a couch bringing tea with Barbara Wawa in your old teeth back somehow. Veneer's gone. <coughs> you got them back. Don't ask me why. I'm different now, Barbara. I'm different <laughs> now. 
and I recount the whole thing, and I talk about how I can't help but feel like it's my fault. Even though in this scenario it's not suicide, it's no, no. like... It's I got hit, no, hit by a car. Hit by a car. Yes. And I'm like, I can't lose out my fault. And Bobby yes. goes, and Bobble goes, wow, this is up all. And I go, I should have been there across the intersection saying, okay, now it's safe to go. <laughs> Where was I? I was at the Petco looking at parakeets again. I was, I would get hit by a car at a, um, a broken stoplight from a doctor's appointment that just gave me the cleanest bill of health. You know what I mean? Yes. That would be the, and then Oprah would be like, was she your friend or were you... What is it? Oh, do you love her? No, but what did she say to um, Megan and her? Uh, were you silent or were you silent? Do you remember that one? That yeah. was so good. I'm also ready for you to die and mm-hmm. Wendy to catch wind of it. So anyway, we're just this weekend. I talked to my mom. She told me I want to get another haircut. Anyway. <laughs> tell me who knows who this is. Yeah, yeah wait. So, <laughs> clap if you know who this I mean, is. You know RuPaul, right? Everybody loves drag queen. Everybody thinks I'm a drag queen, right? Yeah. I wear a wig. I got big breasts. Yeah. You know? And yeah. you know, Katya, she's fun, right? She's fun. She does a split. She smokes cigarettes. We all love her. Love yeah, her. She's yeah. an icon. She's yeah. a legend. She is the moment. Yeah. Well, she was stabbed in the face in Queens this weekend. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so, she doesn't have like, more Instagram followers than me. <laughs> that, that, oh my God. She is. I, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, so wait, wait. In the beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. I have to, The Wendy Cinematic Universe is something that I recently discovered on YouTube. There's this, there's this person called the Verninator. Vern, I believe. Vern Hass or something. Um, a young boy, I think maybe a recent college graduate, who has created a universe so rich, so, de- so deep, that any contemporary artist pales in comparison to the, to the amount of, like, the rich tapestry of intellectual um, value that is gleaned from this YouTube channel. Is this the person who did like the clip of Wendy walking out silent? Mm-hmm. And then it's like someone unlocking their phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's yeah. Wendy. You can hear her bracelet. It's, it's, the, it's, whole, it's the whole cinematic universe. And the, the, uh, the Avengers are like Guy Fieri. Um, uh, uh, Wendy. Wendy, of course. And then um, all, all the people, the staff on his show. And then um, who else is on the who, Avengers? Who's, um, oh, Megan McCain. Megan uh, uh, um, it, uh, Oh, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey for sure. Mariah Carey features uh, in heavily. Nick Cannon. She was on The Masked Singer, remember the list? And there's this whole... I'm yeah. telling you, some of these videos, they're short ones called Ave Wendia, of course, the Ave Maria, <coughs> where... And I went to his Instagram and, and the, um, the, the, the caption was... Or the description was, Silent but Wendy. And, and I almost lost... I had to get up from the chair. I'm telling you that me and Andrew watched every single one of these probably four times in a row and just cracked a But can I tell you what would happen if I die? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, if I die, my dying wish would be that you capitalize on your line of dresses. Mm-hmm. Oh, thing, you know, yes. You're at um, Crabtree and Evelyn or something like that, and yeah. you've got a line of boogie dresses, mm-hmm. and you're fabulously wealthy, and you can't believe I'm Jessica Simpson. I'm yes. with the shoe. I'm just if, if, but if she had started selling shoes because someone died and told yeah, her to sell them. Yeah, um, uh, grease hoppers. Yeah, uh, or yeah. Uh, coffin, coffin clogs or whatever, you know. You know. Or, um, if I die, you could start like a Kanye church. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. Church. Uh, Whatever's beyond sobriety, that. I want you to start wearing white linen pants. Well, that's a cult. What, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. White well, we linen pants, money. save the eyebrows. I think, I think, um. Save the eyebrows, Nike Swiffer. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's what about what about um the cult where the first thing they do is um it's like Scientology where they take your money mm-hmm. and they force you into the news. Oh, tithing, what dental tithing. So you don't owe me your, your money, I want your feet. Yeah, and they bind your feet. Bone tithing. Bone <laughs> tithing <out>. Bone t- <laughs> They bind your feet. Wild away. I want them bones. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be the bone collector once you die because what I'm really doing is trying to make an ultra tricksy skeleton. I'm using all the uh, my the rest of my money to harness the friend. <laughs> How many two hundred and six bones in the human body, at least? Come on, guys. You don't need all of them. No. So you're not all no. doing something. No. I mean, half of my bones don't even know where they are right now. How many bones did you get in there? Just the nose. Only the finger. That's, That's horrible, funny. though. No, it was easy on the center one. Is it just something like that? And I knew it. And I went, first, and it sounded like that. Like that. Easy. The nose is traumatizing because it is your face. Did it bleed and it hurt? Yeah, it bleeded and it hurted and it's, it's 
Did they bleed, bleed it, it and it hurt it? Did it bleed but it hurt? That's a country mm -hmm. song. Yeah. It bleed it and it hurt it and it... Yeah. It was horrible, but it was a long time ago. Although now my nose is crooked, we cover it through It's okay. We need to stop hanging out. I think we need a, we'll like become a more interesting. We need, um, we need a, 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 not a, what is it called? A, um, trial separation or like a, um, a restraining order? What's the, um, I want the more permanent one. Sabbatical. Um, one of us has yeah. died. <laughs> we just talked to, yes, yes, to, to one both of them. them. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of us needs to fake their death and one of us needs to die for real. Oh my god, oh! She's just, it's happening. It's all happening, folks. Woo! My evil plan is working. You guys ready to rock and roll? <laughs> Woo! You just fell off your chair, you fucking weirdo. Uh, I felt like it was too and then I tried to test it. But then you just went for it. You just ended. You I, I felt like it was going, and I kind of I was, I was, I was comfortable with the fact that I might fall. You're a risk taker. I'm a risk taker. Are you gonna come to Six Flags on the game night? I'm gonna do it. September. That's what I sound like we're getting invited to Friday. I know. Oh. I literally have a I think we already talked about this. What day is it? I have a VIP ticket for you. What day? It's Friday, September 16th or 17th. Oh. Oh. oh god, you're gonna do this because I can't. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, is, is it lit though? I'm, I mean, I've been there twice. I'm so jealous. I've been there twice, and I have to tell you, um, like we, we just have discussed um, gay events where we have to watch out for being um, not. Listen, I love to be recognized, mm -hmm. but it's so dark there that you don't. You only get recognized if you're within like feet of people. That's how it was at Sunestia. We were next to Billy oh, Eilish, and no one talked to her. I know, it's so great. So Six Flags is the ultimate lit front front. And, I don't care who you are, you do not have to be on Molly or Kay or G or whatever because those are thrill rides to last a lifetime of memory. I love roller coasters. It's been, it's been so long. There's a Six Flags in Gurney, Illinois called Six Flags Great America. Mm -hmm. I love that a lot. I love, Six Flags. I love feeling like I am going to die. Do you fuck with Disney? I, no. Do you fuck with Universal? I absolutely do not fuck with Universal. Okay. I fuck with her one time, never again. Oh right, we talked about this all it's the time. It's like I went thing. to take a big uh, pitted bimbo out on a date and it was just like uh, this like it was like Danny DeVito showed up. I <laughs> wanted to take out Justin Simpson. <laughs> <Six Six. laughs> I went on a date. Bimbo. I felt like it was cactus at Universal. Yeah, it, it was nice because it's so close. Close to what? So our house is You can walk to Universal. No. I, no. I wouldn't now though. I'd rather walk to the Dungeon Dungeons and Silver Lake. I, I ran yesterday, oh yeah, to low speed and then back up around the hill through the Burbank, almost to PEG. What? Yes, yesterday. And there's I, so much horse wait, 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 shit wait, wait, over wait, there. Wait, what? That's how much, that's like 15 miles. It's fall. But there's so much horse shit over there. Because I, I guess that's why the Moa, or not the Moa, excuse me, the Los Angeles Zoo, I guess they're walking the horses and the horses are shitting and no one cleans it up. Oh, so I saw human shit. I for saw the first human. time? No. <laughs> No, I, I was a celebrity sighting. Mm -hmm. Human Camera shit. Camera shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was like somebody probably between living situations just shit in the middle of a running path. Yeah. And you know, you smell dog shit, you smell this. It was human. What are you, a CSI veterinarian here? Uh, dog shit smells different. Okay. Yes. And then like animal, like farm shit smells different. Well, cat shit tastes way different. Is human. Yeah. And it's also the our size. It's Usually of a shape. Yeah. It's always in a letter. And a taste. B, C, or D. Yeah. <laughs> and when I squeeze it and fuck myself with it. I know. Oh, thank you. Oh. 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 That happens, you know. Everybody's into scat. In LA, people start with kissing is fisting now, and scat is second base. And th third base is literally, could, what would I not, could you hack off my limb? Yeah, while my whole family has been held for ransom for at least six to eight weeks yeah. in the Thai prison. <laughs> oh, uh, flirting is scarification ritual. So oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gay people are on another level. I just love to kiss and hug. If I were to prank call, I would be my first name Amanda, last name kiss and hug. Not hug and kiss. Kiss and kiss hug. And hug. <laughs> From the Philadelphia Amanda kiss and, kiss and hug. Yeah. Amanda kiss and hug. Let's take a break. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> I didn't tell you about my diarrhea. 
We're back. Please, tell me about your diarrhea. I almost had diarrhea yesterday twice on my run. I was Uda Pippig. You almost Uda Pippig. So what do you do in that situation? Would you go in the woods? I, I was doing like the, um, over by Griffith Park, the trail. Yeah. And I was like, great, so one day I take a trail run away from any restaurants or establishments, I'm gonna shit my pants. And I'm gonna walk down this hill covered in shit and have Brandon come get me. I mean, it could happen, but it didn't happen. But I had to uh, pull over and like, you're not gonna shit your pants. I feel like the reverse of I think I can. Like, you I think I can. a moment? Yes. And I, but I didn't shit my pants. That means that you I just willed the feces back in your butt, uh -huh. or you just you just settled your your, your intestines. Yes, well, because I was coming off the hard hangover. Oh, okay, that makes you sense. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You went twelve miles after a hangover. It's only the day after a hangover. You're a glutton for punishment. LA Marathon, November fourteenth, I think fourteenth. Why? I'm doing it. I got a ten percent off deal. Okay, so you have to pay to run twenty six point two. You're gonna hate this. Okay. I signed up for the Milwaukee one, but I can't do it because of that thing. So, so I signed LA up for the LA one because I signed up for the Milwaukee one, which is $90, early registration fee, $90. Okay. And the LA one I just signed up for is like $220. And now, now, isn't it the case that you have to like, these are so sought after that you don't often get to do them? Because well, some of them you have to qualify by having being super uh, fast. And some of them, thing? like they, they sell out of it like tickets. Okay. Because they can't have a million people showing up to do something like this. Because there's people who work for the marathons do things like hand out water, give your give your medal, whatever, oh, and they gotta go home. You're basically yeah. paying for the convenience of running without water. They hand you water, mm -hmm. and there's a pass blocked off, no traffic, mm -hmm. no red light, no red light, and you get those awesome little aluminum tapes at the end. You really are. You really want one of those? I think those are so cute. It has to be cold though to get one of those. That's fine. You know, I just love. I just love. Um, I like a. Uh, a very strange looking uh, thermo regulating. Um, it looks very DIY. You look like the Jiffy Pop in the beginning of the game. Yes. Or you look like um, you, you look like somebody in the future. Something's gone wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, fun. it's fun. I wish I like I, instead of bath towels or shower like in the shower. I you have a shower and then dry off with it. Yeah. With a, with a space blanket. Yeah. I think the ones is like um, when I was a Boy Scout. Those were in like our emergency preparedness. No, no, what are they? It's basically an extremely lightweight way of carrying a blanket. Because keeps, the metal keeps the heat up. Gotcha. gotcha. So... Well, you are a dippy pot. You are mm -hmm. literally a dippy pot. Dippy pot. You weren't a boy scout, were you? Um, no. no. I was the opposite of a boy scout. That's not You're a girl scout. scout. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yesterday, we're at the Grove. Go ahead. Fanatica Oreos are Lady Gaga's girl scout cookies. Think about it. Go on. Ab absolutely they are. So this girl, I'm talking six years old, uh -huh. eating these days, she's been testified. We're at the Grove, me, Tina, Eden, and Ellie. Or, um, or just the three of us. Um, no, Tina, yet. This little girl, very little girl, very tiny little girl comes up and says, excuse me. And I'm horrified because, A, I think immediately she's a fan. And I'm like, how oh, the fuck? No. How the fuck? I was like, how? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised, but she was six years old and extremely put together and uh, eerily personable for someone of this age. And she's like, excuse me, would you be interested in purchasing an eraser? I'm doing a, a fundraiser for my dance class. <gasps> Did you buy one? No, I said, get the fuck out. No, I was so, I, I said I didn't have any cash. You said, go down to the Lucky Horseshoe, Lucky said a pole dance for free. <laughs> I said, no, but we are having dinner, would you like to come to the Cheesecake Factory? It was, there was no, her uh, guardian or parent was nowhere in sight. It was, she was so, so small, and so, children of the corny, um, articulate and personable, mm -hmm. that it was so, it was like, it, eerie. It was beyond eerie. It was creepy. Like, right through the dam. Terrifying, actually. It was terrifying. It felt like, the next thing would be like, oh, well, I have this machete that I could just whip all of your, you know, I mean, it, it was crazy. And you I want to buy an eraser? You said, I don't make mistakes, you little bitch. Yeah, I use pencils, you fucking cunt. Get the fuck out of <laughs> I have an iPad. Kill yourself. <laughs> it, had help. it was like, I was like, relieved that, that she wasn't a fan, but then this horrible, eerie I would have given her money. I only had a twenty, and that fucking broke twenty. That wasn't worth it. Yeah, no, 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 no. She could be dancing for Jesus, though. I know. This is. I want to say, uh, alert. This is not pedo behavior. But what I learned from watching women's tennis is 
a lot of these amazing tennis players start at four or five years old. Yeah, as many gym, or yeah, athletes do. We mm -hmm. know that pole dancing is extremely athletic. You want to get these girls on a party on the pole, like right out the tutu? No, but like, I guess you could be a gymnast as a kid, and then if you like at 18 started pole dancing, you could be the most sickening athletic pole dancer. If right. I was going to be a pole dancer, I would want to be like the Serena Williams of pole dancing. Right. Yeah. I would want to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you yeah. can't you take that. But the only way to do that would be to have some kind of body that trains through adolescence. I don't honestly, as long as you're wearing appropriate children's uh, wear, um, in, you could still put those loose side heels on. I don't know why you can't, like, hit the pole at six, seven years old, as long as it's tasteful. How do you feel about children playing with, like, um, fake high heels, makeup kits? Like, I'm fine with makeup. it, as long as they take it, as long as there's no difference, they have to have access to a lighter, a cigarette. The, the cocktail. You know, as, long it has to make go, as long as it goes full, the orphan. Well, right. I mean, you're not gonna. You can't let a child play with grown-up stuff. If you're not gonna let them do grown-up activities. So <laughs> I, <laughs> we should do a shot-for-shot shot remake of the orphan, where you are the little girl, and everyone in the movie thinks that you're the little yeah, girl. the orphan. Have we talked about this? I've dreamed about. I it. hate <laughs> us. I know. I think we we'll probably talked about it maybe 14. Times. I think we have too. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you a story right now that I've never told you before in my life. In your life. Who would play her? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to try to ask you a question that I don't know the answer to. Alright. How many siblings do you have? Half or otherwise? And I'm going to you say... Know. I'm going to say... Three? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How many do you have? I'm going to say two. Yes! <laughs> All right, that's it. We know each other. Knowing each other, we know one fact about each other's family. And I know that. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Oh, yes, red velvet curtain, mama. I know that your name is Brian Michael Ferkin. Uh huh. And that you were born on August twenty third, nineteen eighty nine. Uh huh. In what Wisconsin? Brian Michael McMahon Joseph Bacook. Yes. Yes. You never. You never remember her. I don't know your birthday. Or her boyfriend's birthday. Who would play her? Is it May? When, yeah. You're a Taurus. Yeah. 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 Is it April? It's no. May. It's, is it the 13th? Very close. Just take off the three. Mm -hmm. Is it the first? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Full five second time elapsed for me to understand yeah. what that meant. <laughs> it's not that we even... I think people don't understand. It's not that we... Also, birthday yeah. Facebook. I don't... I'm not on Facebook, so I don't know anybody's birthday. Is it sad that we have to get paid to hang out this much mm -hmm. to cultivate one of the only genuine friendships in my life? We have to be paid, like a 401k. Is it sad that I had to Google your birthday before I wish you happy birthday? I feel so much better because I don't know. I had to Google it because I, I before I posted it, I was like, oh, these children, if I get it wrong, I will never hear the end of it. Do you know what I mean? Because I did like, yeah, happy International Women's Day, like two days late once. Yeah. And I'll never forget it, you know, so. Did I tell you I went to the CBS to get a prescription filled on my birthday? Mm -hmm. And the girl goes, oh, happy birthday. And I was like, oh, did you know that? She was like, on your ID. <laughs> but I thought I was getting clocked a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I tell you about the, did I tell you about the woman at the Versace store? No. Oh, bitch. Did oh, I, I, I tell you this? No, I don't think I so. I went and bought myself this really cute little Versace bag. So you have been popping off. Yeah. Uh, but you, you have fully settled into, it's Lisa Vanderpump, isn't it? She has <laughs> turned Lisa you. Lisa Vanderpump. Yeah, you're driving. We don't know that she has a Rolls Royce waiting for her outside. Well, two-part story. I went to Lisa Vanderpump for my birthday. She invited me over. Yeah. Champagne and caviar. On her hill by her pool, she set a beautiful pink setting at the table. Cooked dinner for me. She did? Yeah. Or the help? No. Lisa. Lisa and Ken, and me and David set out and had dinner for four for my birthday. She brought out a cake with candles on it with my name on it and sang to me and then gave me a gift. It was like so fancy and luxe I almost cried. Oh my god. And I was like, this food is so good. I was like, this noodle dish, it tastes like really good hamburger helper. And she's like, what that? I was like, oh, it's kind of like a working class food, but I think it's like in a box and you add meat. And she was like, what's working? She was like, you think my my dinner tastes like hamburger helper? And I was like, but like good, like good hamburger helper. And you say your favorite movie is Peter Rabbit. Yeah. And I was telling her about seeing Scream, and she's like, I couldn't have done that. And I was like, it was sorry, it's not Peter Rabbit. She's like, I saw the second Peter Rabbit, and it wasn't as good. The rabbits were good though. Like they're actors. Like the rabbits are actors. <laughs> <laughs> she is so funny. Wow. Um, super story. I went to the Versace store because okay. I wanted to buy me something something nice for my birthday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a great purse. Pink, beautiful, I'll show you a picture. Okay. And um, 
Then I go, apparently these rich stores, if you don't want to carry things around the mall, they courier it to your house. So I got this pink robe, this Versace breath bath robe, and then I got this handbag, and I go, I want to walk around the mall with this. Can you get this, like, delivered? And they're like, yeah, it's just right down your dress and stuff right here. The next day, I think Maria from the Versace store goes, by the way, I noticed your boyfriend David was eyeing this robe. We had it in his size. I was like, Dying. And then she goes, and we're going to have your package sent out today. Happy birthday, by the way. I go, I was, oh. it's just like, also, also, scream. Ah! Yeah, we took the liberty of, um, uh, uh, <laughs> cut a clipping that game his toe off, and, um, uh, somebody from yeah. Peter Simon is going to be done to stitch it up. And on your way out, we took a quick pin prick and got your blood prick. Yes. Did she know that she had lymphoma? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, then they go, yeah. how did you know it was my birthday? And she goes, it's on the internet. I was like, oh. Mary, the amount of care and attention that I've received from shopping at the Prada store in Chicago one time is more that, more affection and care than I've got from my parents in my whole life. It's crazy. But that's what my friend um, Jesse said. He's like, he comes, he's very, like his family, he, they uh, live in billions, you know what yeah. I mean? And he's got a banner pump. He's a banner built. Exactly. And so he explained to me very succinctly one day, he's like, oh, this, it's like the food is great, but it's just good. That, 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 at that here of luxury, it, it's the service you're coming for. These people are going to give you their uh, uh, three, three gallons of their O negative blood if you need it. To with drink. their shoes. Yeah, with your Starbucks. Like, they will do any, it's all about the service. I want to be like, these are great, but. Can I get that bag in bed? Yeah. Can I get it? Yes. At, at the handle, I don't know, the bamboo, maybe just his arm. <laughs> look at his arm. Can I get his <laughs> radius whittled down? <laughs> yeah. Well, they will do that. Because, I mean, look at, you go to fucking, um, any a designer, yeah, it's leather, whatever, it's great, but it's all the wrapping, the care, the sucking of the ass, the, like, the coddling, the, I mean, they're, like, it's crazy. I'll say this, being able to go to a store, shop for things in person, and not have to walk out and carry anything, yeah. was like, yeah, it showed up at my door the next day. I've never heard of that. That's crazy. I wouldn't trust them. That's crazy. Do they, do they come in a nice outfit? Or did they send the courier? They send the courier. Oh, a person. Were they dressed like that? Person person person. <laughs> that would be incredible. Like, we still have a to bought this too. We have two for Halloween. Halloween. I know, I wouldn't take that. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's what I built. I built her. And I'm going to go as Gaga yeah. in the... Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that is just an Olive Garden commercial. I refuse to believe that's a movie. That's an Olive Garden commercial. Well, you, uh, it'll, you know, yeah. People will love it. She'll do a six-month tour. She'll do yeah. 101 people yeah. in a room. There could be 100 breadsticks in the room and only one's got marinara. <laughs> there could be 100 bowls of soup and only 99 have Ma's gravy drizzled all over. Yeah, <laughs> but all it is that one breadstick. There could be 10 gabagools. What is gabagool? It's, a, it's like a fajul. Have you ever gone to Rayos in Hollywood for dinner? No. Bit. Go to Rayos in Hollywood. It is a film. They got Maz oh. Gravy. It's a television show called The Planet. They got Maz Gravy there though. I know what that is. They got the jewel. I know what that is. It's an Italian restaurant and like the door guy is like literally you know his name like, is Big Pussy. <laughs> you know his name is Big Pussy. He's like, ah, what you got on a Friday, right on the weekend, you got plans? It's like that. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know if you work here if you're hired for ambiance. Like, are you a day player here? Are you an actor? Yeah. yeah. Are you a Star Trek day player? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What is it called? Rayo. R-A-O. Apostrophe S. I'm sure that's the American... That, the the R-A. A Rayo. Apostrophe. I'm sure it's like Rao. Rao. Okay. 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 It's really good. They sell the marinara um, in the grocery store. Not gravy. Yeah. yeah. Well, on that note... Well, hunting's dangerous. Yeah. Hey, catch this in your mouth. I give you a prize. Catch this in your mouth and give you a pie. Ooh, you look cute. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
it's literally like <laughs> okay people think this podcast like how you tell people what's happening <laughs> it's the palliative care princess's last hurrah you know what it makes me think of it makes me think of the movie bicentennial man with robin williams mm-hmm. and he dies at the end and then his 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 wife wants to be her machine turned off and she turns to the robot that's turned humanoid and she goes I'm ready for the machine to be turned off, Galatea. And Galatea goes, one is glad to be a server. <laughs> turns her machine off. And she's dead. Yeah. It's I think it's the elephant man at the end, um, when he goes to bed knowing that um, he will die, and then there's a giant lady's face on the screen that says, <laughs> I've never seen the elephant man. It says, it says um, is that like the Nothing man? will ever die. Nothing will ever die. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Really Part of what makes life enjoyable is that, you know, it's, it's, it's one piece of cake. Yeah. It's not a whole cake. No, yeah. This is how much you have. You yeah, don't yeah. own the bakery. Oh, yeah. You know? That's a good. That's a good. Oh, my God. What? It's like in the, the TV show Watchmen, which obviously had a huge impact on my life. <laughs> <laughs> Where Dr. Manhattan goes, well, our relationship ends in tragedy. And she's like, well, why does it end in tragedy? And he goes, don't they all? Don't they all? Somebody dies. Yeah. Should we, yeah, I guess we're rolling. Does it? Why don't you tell them? I mean, this is a podcast. We tell them what they're not seeing. Look at this. Wait, wait, they're not seeing this? Well, most people are listening to it in their commute, on oh, the train. Oh, sure, sure. But some, the subway. So, so like check you. Someone checking the tube side. Is it someone will be watching this, though? So they can see how hard I look. Um, it's in bed drinking a Red Bull like Kathy Hilton. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that show? <laughs> no, no. It's amazing. <laughs> no. Kathy Hilton, it's like 2 a.m. and Kyle Richards is sleeping in bed and Kathy Hilton is off reading a magazine drinking a Red Bull and she goes, Kathy, what are you doing? She's like, I'm having a soft drink. <laughs> it's like, that's a Red Bull, Kathy. She's like, what's a Red Bull? <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Well, we're, at, we're, we're here in Buffalo. We're here in Buffalo. We can say where we're at because we're going to be gone by the time this comes out. It's the fabulous Curtis Hotel. Gorgeous, actually. Super gorgeous Curtis Hotel. Um, the toilet Mama, he did feet. Heated toilets Heat by honey. Prius, toilets by, um, no, not Prius. Volkswagen. Toilets by Tesla. It's Hyundai Volkswagen. Toilet. It's oh. Yeah. Warm seats. Warm seats. And you know, I'm so trashy. When I sat down on the heated seat, I went, <laughs> someone was just in here. <laughs> just the same thing. I was like, someone was in here. <laughs> sitting on my shitter. Someone <laughs> sitting on my shitter. It's a little warm in here. Well, <laughs> Brandy, can you turn the air up a little bit for Miss, Miss Big over here? Um, <laughs> so... Oh, that's how the air? Oh, wow. You need your hands reaching? No. This is a space hotel. <laughs> right in the air. The claw. The um, claw from us. This place, it has one of those space toilets. It has a front and back today. Yeah. So I got my hole cleaned out and my gun all scraped out. Power wash. <laughs> Took the veneer off. Took the aluminum siding right off. Wait, you got your front hole and back hole cleaned out? And then it has a butt dryer. Yes, the dryer. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I, I looked at it. Let me tell you something. I'm going to give the feet people something. Cause I'm okay. Feet selling feet picks. We got go, to talk about selling feet picks. But the hot tub. They have to use the spa. The hot tub. The bath. No, not yet. The bathtub. And only have bubbles and the light. Jets, jets. When it empties, the jets blow for a while and dry the tub. Jesus what? Christ. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you this though. Once you buy a motel and everyone knows about it, whenever I go to motel room, they roll out the red carpet. I'm not joking. They always, uh, there's a basket. This is the first motel I've been in where there wasn't a basket that says, like, we love your motel show. Hope you enjoy our suite. Mm. People are so much nicer to you because suddenly I'm like Gordon Ramsay. Right, 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 right. Because I opened one motel. Right. Suddenly I'm Tabitha. Maybe I should open that something. My name's Tabitha. I'm taking over. Mm. I should open up a coffee shop. So that everywhere I go, there's an IV drip for piping hot coffee and going into all my orifices. It was, it was closed. How long was the line? It was like eight now, or nine. Now, what is long to you? Okay, eight or nine people. Plus, I know not, not on your life. Would I wait for that? Not on your life. And if, if I, I, I wouldn't wait in line for oxygen if I was drowning. No. And I know from experience this morning, it took forever. And I, I'm not a person who likes to wait for anything. If I have to wait more than three minutes, I'll just leave in a huff. And I'll bitch about it for the rest of the day rather than solve the problem. Like a patient, normal person. Are you complaining? Speaking of which, <laughs> do you want to recap Radio City? 
Let's talk about it. I have a bone to pick with the entire human race. I know. I know. Yeah. I know that you, you, we're, you're here. We're doing the HVAC pod yeah. once again. <laughs> we're, um, back, we're back on we're our back HVAC, on our HVAC bullshit. bullshit, honey. <laughs> but the thing is, we had the incredible honor. First, let's say, we yeah, got yeah. to sell out Radio City Music Hall, yeah, yeah. which is one of the largest indoor venues in the world, I believe. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, it's so it, it was, um, we've been doing this show that um, uh, when when it was written decided um so one of the numbers was inspired by me obsessing over liza minnelli performing new york new york at radio city music hall mm -hmm. you go to youtube you can google it um what i should have known or should have paid attention to mm -hmm. was the fact that she was sweating through her fucking she was she was sweating like she just jumped out of the pool now if we know a couple of things about liza we know a couple of things number one She's not exactly the most sober gal in the world. Yeah. She's from the Bob Fosse generation, you know. A couple That's of good. goofballs. A couple of goofballs. Yeah. You know, they, they when she gets tired, they just take a slingshot and they shoot it at her all down her throat. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're not joking about no, no. addiction, obviously. No, 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 no. And this is not, I mean, anybody knows anything about the 60s and 70s. It's the doll. Dolly of the dolls. Have you seen Dolly of the dolls? People didn't know as really much about that she needs another doll. Did you watch the documentary on her? Um, I'll take your pills. No, I don't. Adderall was originally marketed to children. The interior conversations were, what about speed for children? And they were advertised it as, my mom, my, my, my daughter, Denise, yeah. is, gets perfect grades on this pill. Yeah. She's so well behaved and yeah. she's so focused. Basically, it's like, make your kid the perfect kid. Yeah. But, do you think that make kids screaming and crazy? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask the, what, the 300 million uh, kids on Adderall today? That's something else I learned in that documentary. It's like the number 19th most prescribed drug in the, in, in the United States or something. They were saying college kids, Ivy League schools, everyone's on it. Everyone's on it. And they were saying pills only like $2 each. I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. Well, that's how I got addicted to it. At college. Pills. Yeah, Adderall. Adderall, Adderall, specifically. Did you take the pills at first? Um, yeah, because I saw an episode of Desperate Housewives. And Felicity Huffman was taking her daughter's Adderall to get things done around the house. I said, ooh, let me try that. Well, thanks, Felicity. Yeah. Look what you've created. <laughs> Desperate Housewives. Yeah. I found that, wasn't it us on that? Yeah. You know what? For somebody who abuses your feet, that's actually look great. Thank you. Thank you. You do the cheese grating on the bottom? I surely do. do. Oh, wow. I have, a, I have a travel grater with me. Really? Oh, yeah. You look amazing. Thanks. Um, see what I'm serving. Yeah. <laughs> you were back. <laughs> they might be. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> getting brave. Oh, it's great. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Lance, look so, at the size. That is Put your foot next to mine. So crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. It's crazy. I know. It's, That's the pointy foot. It's, it's embarrassing. Oh, so yeah. crazy. It's not okay. It's so wild. There's a lot wrong. Look, I have petite little Cinder Cinderella. What if I had no. What if, I, what if my toes had no neck and they were like that? <laughs> like this. <laughs> Ooh, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay. So, so Radio City, huge, huge. Um, we were saying that it was it was like a a huge achievement, mm -hmm. amazing, unparalleled, um, career defining moment, right? Mm -hmm. And not to mention all of like the 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 amazing people of like the, New York has some incredible fans. G Boy Cooper. G. Lloyd Cooper. Lori G. It could be G. Lloyd Cooper. Or it could be Lori G. Cooper. We don't know. We don't know. But it's Lori Cooper. And she, she was there. And Lori um, Cooper was there. Gina Burch was there. Gina Burch. Um, Jody Harsh was there. Um, uh, so many people were there. Um, this, um, Vanessa so Williams came. Are you serious? Yes. Seriously? That's serious. She was in town. And now it's coming together. She's like, I'll come to your show. Incredible. Incredible. And then, um, this funny guy that I follow on Twitter that you know who is it. I, um, I think his name is Paul. Orange Paul. So I couldn't funny. believe so I DM'd him and said, I'm so happy you performed on a Monday so that the Twitter days would come. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Orange Pop he has maybe the so funny. And Rose, maybe have the two funniest So Twitters. funny, so funny. Love Katie Delaney's up there too. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a few people where every time they see, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but anyways, so that was a, a great thing. However, <laughs> we go into two days of rehearsal because we have some significant changes in the script we have to work on. Uh huh, which we didn't get to before. We didn't get to two days we before. We said, hey, quick, just, you know, Kelly, this extra monologue. Yeah. Tomorrow. She did fabulous, by the way. Amazing. I, side note, I feel so comforted going on stage because 
it's Kelly's show, mm -hmm. yeah. and we're just there. We're just we're just like window dressing, mm -hmm. and she's the main event. Um, but we go to White Plains, New York, to this um, performing arts center on a college for two days. SUNY Purchase. SUNY, is that what it was? At SUNY Purchase. SUNY Purchase. Southern State University of New, New York, York Purchase. Purchase. Okay. And it was freezing. Absolutely freezing. Mm -hmm. It was so cold. The dancers were complaining. That's why I know it's really getting juicy. When the dancers are complaining. When their teeth are chattering. Yeah, yeah. When there's like ACLs are about to get snapped. That's when I know that it's probably going to be room temperature for me. Mm -hmm. And then we w go into Radio City and it was freezing. And then a, a funny thing happened. During the show. It gets so hot. That I don't know what to do with myself. It was hot in your dressing room too. Oh yeah. I had to change. I had to... um. I had it, uh, we had to switch dressing rooms halfway through the evening because it was, um, I started to have a meltdown. I started to have a meltdown in the, in the dressing room. I don't know, I don't know. Did you know? I woke up just not feeling it. I won't get into it, but I've had some chronic pain issues. Oh, oh yeah. And, <laughs> and I woke up and I had a headache and I said, not today. And then I started to have a... How does that materialize for you? Well, it hasn't ever happened until uh, maybe a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. um, circular, strange, pain, mental, like, oh god, I'm gonna die. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I tell David, I said, you need to go on this tour bus with me, and you need to take a nap with me. Mm -hmm. And you need to wake up with a different person. Yeah. And that's exactly what I do. Oh, that's great. We'll get feeling great. That's the good thing. If you have a bad day, get back in bed and do it again. <laughs> you know, start over. That's a really good idea. Seriously. Let's try that. Start fresh. Because you. Once the show it was backstage, and I looked on your face, I couldn't do anything. I was like, do I go say, break a leg, or will I get punched in the mouth? That was the look on your face. When I came off the stage, so going on the stage, I was like, first of all, I was like, at the meeting greet, oh, okay. So, we go down to do the meeting greet, and I'm noticing the temperature, it's really hot, and I say, and all, I see all, all of our managers and agents around, uh -huh. milling around, basking in the achievement of this glorious moment. As they should. As they should. Once the pig is strapped up in air conditioned. Do you know what I mean? Like I it, know. It's when, when, when Babe the pig is, <laughs> <laughs> is... You know what I mean? Like you can't... No, you're right. Once the pig is hoisted and then is, is comfortable, then you can start like receiving the applause but not a moment sooner. Not a moment sooner. And so I was like, I need a fan, I need a fan. And then someone comes and brings this, um, you know those little, those little handheld fans, that, like the, the battery power fans that people have at their office desk sometimes, it's like a joke. Uh -huh. That's what they, they, they take to the floor, 18, 18 feet, feet away 18 from feet. me. <laughs> 18 feet away, pointed at your feet. Yeah, and I was like, and then one of the, um, the, produ one of the producers started to laugh and I said, this is not funny. Comedy is tragedy plus time. So we're not we're not laughing about the tragedy as it is unfurling. Do you know what I mean? I was there. <laughs> and I picked a meet and greet for this tour that I thought, ooh, this is easy. It's just a little dress. Mm -hmm. It's a full corset. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Pads and, and body makeup. Body makeup. Yeah. Full body makeup. Five yeah. minutes of body makeup. Yeah. Body makeup makeup. 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 That's nice. It looks you really have nice. To put body makeup on if you're gonna show your skin. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna be a cross dresser, a goon. A club kid, mm -hmm. a flight attendant, a model, mm -hmm. a pro wrestler. Like, there's just some things where if you're going to be photographed and stuff, mm -hmm. make it on body makeup, put some foundation in your hand, mix it with lotion, mm -hmm. telling you to mix the look. Yeah, I can't do that because I have tattoos. Oh my, but, but tattoos covers, I just you do, know, I do all this, and then it blends in. I don't think I've ever had that much problem. Well, tattoos cover a lot. Yeah, but like up here, I always put makeup on uh, anything that's covering up here. Anyway, yeah. anyway, tattoos have a great. Uh, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> bless you. We don't cover your mouth. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> COVID's over. <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyway, the show starts, and it's it's a level of stagnant on stage that I have hitherto not experienced. It was so hot. It was so bad. Even Kelly was sweating. That's how I knew it was really, really bad. She never sweat. <laughs> she never sweat. You know how you have, when you have a grandma, you got to constantly put a blanket on her lap? That's Kelly. <laughs> and also the dancers, they're comfortable. So if the dancers are happy and comfortable, mm -hmm. I'm pissed. Oh, when I went, I went to, um, uh, there's a part where I, I, I jump on Michael and he spins me around during my second number. Drenched. Wet. Drenched. Wet, wet mud. Uh -huh. Wet, wet mud. Yeah. Well, the good news is, 
um, due to some emergency meetings following the show, we now have air-conditioned condo tents. <laughs> Guys, now on our show, when you walk off stage, there are air-conditioned tents with an air conditioner running with our costumes in there. So when you go to your costume chain, yeah. there's a crisp 60-degree tent. Uh-huh. A, a it's, a trailer. Trailer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hurricane relief pop-up tent. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's an it's, I'm Renee Russo in Outbreak. <laughs> Twelve monkeys. <laughs> I'm Gwyneth Paltrow in Twelve Monkeys. <laughs> Isn't she in that? <laughs> oh, she is, right? She's in um. She's in, she's in Contagion. Oh, she's, she's not the first monkeys. one. She's the first one to die, but there's this is her in Contagion. <laughs> you gotta it. But she didn't get her Oscar for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's she didn't get her like, Oscar. Eden and I were joking that oh, when she's gonna open the um, she's gonna wake me up one morning and I'm gonna be dead, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna have the most ridiculous expression on like, like, <laughs> like it's planning tongue, it. Tongue As out, you like, flip away, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. What's my <laughs> what's my vibe? Yeah. I love that. <laughs> um, but it wasn't it. Sixty six hundred people totally sold out. It was totally unreal and it was um, amazing, yeah. yeah, it was great. And then the next amazing. night. Cleveland, you know, to follow Ohio. the high of yeah. Radio City Music Hall, mm-hmm. and then to be in Cleveland, Ohio on a Tuesday, it actually was a blast. I had a great all time. all the pressure was off. <laughs> yes. It was like, we did this big show, and now we can shit on the stage. I had a great, and I had a, I had a wonderful time. I had a good time when I'm out there, no matter what. It was Crank Tina. <laughs> she came to my dressing room and said, I need you to know you're going on stage with Crank Tina tonight. I said, okay, let's take a break. Let's take a break. So, oh I gotta bad. talk to you about something else. Yeah? Um, I've been reading a lot of graphic novels. Okay. And I want to tell you about a few of them. But I'm not done talking about what I'm gonna talk about. Okay. We'll give you a few more minutes. Okay. Um, so, I, 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 I come up the stage, uh-huh. and I say, it's not worth it. Uh-huh. It's not worth it. I'm done. We're packing it up. For sure. Everything. Well, do you realize, I mean, I don't think Everybody's busy. But you know, I, we quit the tour in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. We would default. Right? Mm-hmm. We would own millions and millions of dollars. Uh-huh. We don't just get to go home without getting paid. No, we have not Oh, millions of dollars. Okay. It is, it's as if I have a cracker. There's a clause. There's a, there's, there's a cracker clause. Is there? Yeah, there's a crank tuna clause. <laughs> <laughs> you get your typewriter? <laughs> Jessica Fletcher, last minute addition. Yes. Is that her name, Jessica Fletcher? Uh-huh. Look how gay I am. Look how I'm sitting. I look like, I look, you know what I look like? I yeah. look like, um, under the Tuscan sun. <laughs> I am like, like, yeah. <laughs> but I also look like E.T. I was saying, well, maybe more that more E.T. Yes. I also look, you've got the shape of Diane Lane. You've been the, the shape of water. <laughs> I'm the shape of water. <laughs> um, okay, so graphic novels. Well, I've read a few. I'm going to be honest, I read a lot. Okay. I read a lot. Uh-huh. A lot of books from London. All I did was read because I stayed at the Gore Hotel with Ted. Bad just, Wi-Fi. Just electricity. Barely. Almost no Wi-Fi. So I read books like the olden days. Like I read right? The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh-huh. Um, the books one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. Great. But there's a lot of pictures in these books. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah, lot of pictures, it's a lot of words. Real, they're, real, yeah. they're real easy to turn. But really cool. I mean, I can't draw. I can't even draw a circle. Mm-hmm. So me looking at artistry, mm-hmm. every page, I'm like, I can't draw that. Mm-hmm. So I just love it. Um, I read a bunch of, um, I read a, a, a DC Universe Watson crossover called Jimmy J. Fox, which is Superman vs. Batman. Who it. wins? Ultimately, everyone wins. Oh. It's kind of a fake art team. Oh, okay. They work together. Yeah. They they, yeah. they provide AC for everybody. <laughs> yes. They provide AC for all the girls. <laughs> okay. um, and then I read this series called The Boys, which is apparently a TV series now. I read the whole thing. You don't know about, you don't know about this one? I don't want to tell them anymore. But I watched well, the whole, I read the whole series. such a liar when you take that. Um, um, all of them. Um, it's such a great show. Yeah, it's amazing. The book is amazing. I, I ate through probably one, one, what is it? Um, 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 a book? One, it, it's one through six. I read okay. through one of it. You gotta read. You gotta watch the show. It, the show is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so bloody and it's so nasty. Well, yeah, but I mean, I mean, it's actually a salty, very rapey, dark. bloody, it's very violent. Dark. Yeah, yeah, very, very, uh, very. Trigger violent. warning: blood, violence, sexual assault. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, what I liked about it is, well, if superheroes were real, they would be basically like assholes, corporate-owned. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, plus Elizabeth Shue is in the first is season. She? Oh, yeah. Who she play? She plays, she's like the head of the, um... Uh, That's a great role for her. Yeah. It's and exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also like, uh, you know, these superheroes are like squeaky clean publicity-wise, mm -hmm. but behind the scenes, like corporate bribe, yep. crime, mm -hmm. sexual assault, drugs. Yeah, uh, it's basically just capitalism. Yeah, because let's be honest, if you're a human being and you had powers that made you untouchable, do you think it would really make you a better person? I don't know. I doubt yeah. it, yeah. I doubt it. Not in today's climate. Um, but I also like reading about superhero stuff because we our costume crusaders it's in a way. Yeah. We're mostly self-serving. <laughs> yes. But still. <laughs> and I, some of us certainly have our kryptonite. <laughs> yes. And right now I'm reading, because I'm a fan of Alan Moore who wrote The Watchmen. Mm -hmm. I'm reading V for Vendetta. Oh, I've never good. watched the movie or anything, mm -hmm. so I don't know anything. Look at the art inside. Just crack it open. I don't know what you call this style. Look how it's like a, all shadowy and like 60s. Isn't that amazing? How do they do this? <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how they make comic books. I know that someone Have draws it. Have you ever it? picked up a comic book no, before? No, I've never okay, okay. okay. So, I think someone draws it and someone colors it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two different jobs. But look mm -hmm. at the coloring in this one. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The pale yellows and the teal. Gorgeous. So cool. Basically, I'm only a few, a few chapters in, but it's about like a, a version of London in 1997 where it's run by fashion. Fish is Fish is them. Anyway, I love it. That's what I've been up to. I just read books now. And you know how I am. When I discover something new, I base my whole personality on it. Yeah. So like six weeks, yeah. and then I move on. But I particularly love is how you're the first person to ever discover it, though. That's, <laughs> that was that's me. really cool. <laughs> that's me in, making conversation to be like, you know about Batman? People are like, yeah, we all know about Batman. I'm like, I don't know if you know about Batman. <laughs> yeah. But no, see, I, I read one book. I now know about Batman. What, what, we, what about a graphic novel, novel of a It's that. We could do a graphic novel of this show. Yeah, that's true. It, but, but I would have to be in, like, smell of vision. And it would have to be a packet of moisture at the end of each chapter. To rub on your That you, like, you like, squeeze open and it splats you in the face. Or, like, a little uh, packet of barbecue sauce to rub on your skin. Like bronzer. <laughs> I got a Tom Ford, uh, it's a Tom Ford men's gel bronzing tint because I was face baking for Queen Universe. Oh, because yeah. Because my face, like, you know, take off makeup, makeup. It yeah. off so fast. Yeah. So then I was trying to tint it to get it to match, and I would like put it on, and then go see myself in the stage. Chicken right? cacciatore. Mary. Chicken cacciatore. Teriyaki. <laughs> Orange chicken. Face. Hi. <laughs> Top row of white rectangles. <laughs> bottom row of crooked brown <laughs> flesh. Chicken, chicken teriyaki face. Bald head. Oh. <laughs> oh, just oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. What? Is your phone thinking? Oh. What is the opposite of horny? Oh. I had a, I had a, I was in bed last night. I was you laughing. You can see this with my hair behind? What, what? I just tucked my hair behind my ears. Like, I have long hair. It's so disgusting. It's really, like, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We got to do oh. something. Go oh. on. What's the opposite of horny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Uh, uh, I was in the bed last night cracking myself up. Did you ever do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was, I was cracking myself up. On the tour bus, just cracking up. I was, I was in the bed alone with the covers up to here, like up to my chin, laughing, crying. <laughs> That's me when the edible hurts. <laughs> it is. It really is. And I was like, what is the opposite of horny? Because whatever the opposite of horny is right now, that's what I'm feeling, and I feel great. Like, I'm not... I'm not you? So hmm? usually that kind of thought is like a weed thought. Thinking too deep about it. Yeah, thinking too yeah, deep yeah, about yeah, something that's not, you know. Like when I get high like that, I'm in bed like, does the mailman deliver his phone? You know what I mean? <laughs> like shit you should not care about. And I'm like, is that allowed? You know what I mean? Like, like it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, does the mailman deliver his <laughs> I'm like, does the sun make noise? Yes. <laughs> <You're like a laughs> Probably if you are up close, which you can't be. I bet you it sounds like chicken crackling, like like a like a deep fryer, like, like um like a uh, um uh, uh pork rinds crackling deep fryer. <laughs> like, <laughs> have you ever deep fried anything? It, it is. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, anybody who works fast food or anything, if you've ever had a job where you get to use a big fryer and dip like frozen French fries into grease, it's what it's what Yeah. Because yeah. when. You know, the ice in the fries, when it hits, when, when frozen water like that hits crackling grease, it, it spits a lot. Uh -huh. So it's like, 
That's exciting. It's really, it, I remember really enjoying it. Okay. And then in, in food service, you blanch french fries where you basically cook them like 80%. Okay. So that when someone wants fries, you just have to drop them and oh, a couple minutes they're done. Oh, gotcha. That gotcha, way every gotcha. time someone eats fries, they're fresh. You don't have to, yeah, yeah. They're fresh. Okay. There's a lot of, um, you know I that like TikTok of like McDonald's? I don't know anything about food. Okay. Um, so like when you, like you write what you write a book says I'm gonna be the food soon. Learning about how food how it's made. Or yeah, it had to eat it. Would you ever wanna like um would you ever wanna learn to cook anything? I'm I'm going to Because I have a house. Yes, and I have a beautiful kitchen. Let me tell you this. Now I get a house, you're gonna want to just get hungry, I make food, and then not have to like find it, buy it. I don't want to leave. Right, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to leave, so I've been purchasing food at the local grocery mart. <laughs> <laughs> and they know? Yes, they know. Okay. <laughs> and I've been, well, I haven't been cooking per se, although the other day, Dina came over, and guess what I did? What? I said, are you hungry? Yeah. Let's have some pasta and garlic bread. I did. You cooked I the boiled, I boiled the pasta, I heated up the sauce out of the can, out uh-huh. of the jar, and then I... I, I, I had a baguette that I sliced and put butter and garlic sauce on, put it in the oven, and we took it out. It was very rock hard, probably because it was stale, but it was, we still ate it. I ate it. And it was, I thought it was very delicious. And then I cleaned up the dishes myself. Well, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I think Green Chef. Not, un, uh, not unpaid, no. unpaid oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Green Chef would be cooking for you. Because no. you don't have to go to the grocery store. But then it's your house. But I want to go to the grocery store. You do? Yeah, because I want to go with no bra and a tank top and have someone call me a slut. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Gelson's at 4 a.m. with RuPaul. You know she shops at like 4 in the morning? That makes perfect sense. I don't think you're People open. that tall. <laughs> She's in there just like, I'll take what I need. I have an account. <laughs> she, she, and she's like supermarket too. She runs through the aisles and she's like, <laughs> she takes one of the pictures, breaks the window, goes every and morning. Just take what she wants. Every morning. <laughs> you know. By the way, shout out, uh, shout out, uh, friend of the pod, Chantal was on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, I know. Good for her, dude. I think that that is probably the hardest. I thing was going to, to do. say. I was going to say. Because Courtney did that too, and I was like, that is the job for the Courtney Axe and the Chandelers of the drag world. Girl, because let me tell you something. Tell it. That job is not fun. No, every time on a television show when I have to dance, it's, it's hard. But imagine if Vanderpump told me she's like, basically you're in rehearsal five days a week, 12 hours a day. Oh yeah, all day, all day. To me that means injury, horrible pain uh-huh and and not a, a horrible quality of life and michelle did strictly which i think is similar okay strictly, strictly strictly come strictly dancing. Dancing. yeah it's the uk uh-huh yeah it's probably the same you probably thing. lose weight yeah horrible. yeah horrible blisters horrible horrible foot pain and every other kind of pain and the because, way because if one of these celebrities breaks their life like oh a good name like yeah. see them well it could if you really hurt yourself dancing on television, it could affect your face forever. True. You know, True. so I don't know what they get paid. I hope they get paid good because it looks so hard. There's not enough money in the world for them. I would never do it. I would never do it. I could never do it. Yeah. I wouldn't last one day rehearsal. Mary, I do, two, I do two wiggle numbers in this show, and it takes everything I have. Is there like a competition show that's not drag related that you would like to do? Is Mine is Worst Cook Celebrity Edition. Oh, yeah. Is there like a hottest sleeper? Where like they just measure the amount of sweat that you do while you sleep. Oh, hottest! I thought like sexiest <laughs> looking while you sleep. I'm no, like, what? I've seen you sleep on airplanes. <laughs> it's this. You sleep with a permanent frown. It's really it's like this. Like someone's hurting you. By the way, I I'm I'm Botox out right now. Just... Wow. Yeah. I need a refund. Yeah. And I've been using this. Uh, oh, Oh, that looks pretty oh, good. good yeah. I've been using this chemical exfoliant. I don't want to steal your shot. Let's do it. Ooh. Let me look this. You are a decade older than me. Is it eight years? <laughs> Seven? It's <That's> ten. Seven years. <laughs> oh, I, I worked on a... Okay, okay. But wait, 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 wait. What's the opposite of horny? Well, last night Trevor on the bus said frigid. It's not that. Oh, that's frigid, not that frigid. frigid. But that's not that. That means that means like 
never, never, that means like not arousable. I would say, sure. because being horny is like you're turned on and you're very sexually interested. Like you're looking for it. The opposite of horny is the feeling after you come. Satisfied? It's like when you are done eating because you're full. After you have sex, you're like, not yeah, hungry. Right. cool to never do this again. Right, what you is know? that? What is For that? every hookup, you're like, why did I do that? Yeah. I, but I've been having that feeling for like the last two days. And I love it. You do? Oh my god. Not being horny? Yes. I go through phases. I, go th- I just saw David for two days, so we immediately did it. Mm-hmm. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately did it. Um, I wrote down some notes. One of them mm-hmm. says, I love my job. And what the fuck that means? <laughs> Um, oh, are we have to talk about the service in the UK. We have to talk about the service in the UK. What kind of service? Food service? The, the, yeah. the, 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 okay. I understand that in America, having people in the service industry work for tips, it's a hot subject. Some yes. people, when I, when, I, when I was a server, I loved the fact that I left this task, and my good service meant I could get rewarded for it. You know right. what I mean? Yes, yes. But you could say it's unethical to have people work for three dollars. It depends on the Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But in the UK, they don't work for tips and they don't care to come back to you. Mm-hmm. You can go in and sit down until you slag someone down. Mm-hmm. They're like, and what the hell do you want? <laughs> You're like, well can I order? They're like <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Collins and I got bread at the Ivy and we asked for she asked for bread plates and the guy went and he looked aback, and he came back with one bread plate. There was two of us. It was so crazy. It was so... It's everywhere, I mean, it was just, it's just a different world. Because in America, I would say that they are overly taking care of you. Yes. It's, it's, it's How are you worth, today? What can I get on that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. It's, yeah. But in the UK, you need to do, like, um, Desert Island, human skull spelling out help in order to get a salad for it. <laughs> so, like, what is the truth? The, it's gotta be, the truth has got to be... People who are available and happy to help you, but they're paid well enough that they're not like... Right, 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 yeah. It was wild. Damn. I don't recall, I don't recall that... It, I guess there's just every UK experience they have, I try to block out. Well, that's, it, it's, 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 a, it's a double-edged sword, though, because I have changed my tune on food in the UK. Love it. I had wonderful food everywhere I went. Oh, great. This is the secret. I let people pick the restaurants, and they picked, took me to places I would have never picked myself. Okay. Okay. Michelle Collins took me to an Israeli restaurant. Okay. I was like, oh, oh God, I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to recognize any of the food. Worked me out. Well, the, the, the key about English food is that you don't eat English. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> eat Indian. You eat, Indian, yeah. and the, in, the Indian and food I've had in London is like beyond. It's beyond. Israeli restaurant food, which is... Uh, I was, it told to me, it's basically Mediterranean, but a little different. Mm-hmm. It was so delicious. Uh-huh. And when I was in Israel, I think I ate a McDonald's. Like, so <laughs> maybe that's your problem. Yeah. I think I just need to take more trust balls when I'm, when I'm traveling yeah. And, yeah. and try not to have... The problem is I travel and I want the same food I eat at home. Yeah, no. And that's, that's not realistic, happen. is it? <laughs> I don't think that's very realistic at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a break. Let's take a break. <laughs> Some of the other cultural things. We're back. Uh, cultural things I experienced. Would you like a diet coke or full fat? Oh, full fat is the full best. Full fat. Full fat is the best. Full fat. Full fat. Full Red fat. Bull. Do you want full fat Red Bull? Yes, yeah, full fat. Always fat. Full fat. It's disgusting. Why don't we say sugar? I don't full know. Full fat. Do you want it as if there's going to be lard floating in the top, like Crisco? It's going to be it's a solid. It's the solid cylinder of just lard that you have to like stuck through the can opening. Because it's not fat-free Red Bull. It's no, sugar-free. Sugar free. Free. So well, then why is it full fat? I think because they know that like the sugar becomes fat. They want the Americans to like, yeah. So you, you want the fat. So you want the fat, you did fat fuck. Yeah. Also, not to call anybody out. The grinder there? H and H. The H and H in London. The high and horny is, 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 is unchecked. It's, it's, it's a huge issue. Well, I, I, hope that, I hope that the gays there get, get the help they I guess they're doing methadrone now, too. No, there's it's like that. a new, there's like an, well, it's, it's not new, but it's like a drug, um... It's a, it's a, it's a, As I chug my Red Bull, I'm like, yes. people are gross. <laughs> well, this is full fat. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, yeah, that's the only way. 
hatch and hatch. Method drone. I just hope the people find the help they need because the um, method drone is um, ooh, white magic. Meow meow. Okay. See, that's, that's cute. A fun name, that's though. cute. Yeah 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 yeah. Um, they gotta call things. They gotta drug dealers gotta do their duty yeah. by calling the drugs. Dirty. Yeah, like um, so some death. A black stallion. That sounds fun. Yeah, that sounds great. Actually. You know. Yeah. So it's um. It, it produces uh, effects similar to MDMA, amphetamines, and cocaine. Okay, I see, that sounds like a sex drug, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, H&H is, is tough. The other thing I have to talk to you about is, I haven't been keeping up on Celebrity Drag Race, although I'm quite jealous that you did it because I found the first season of your Oh my god, wait, wait, yes, let's talk about that because it just we came out. We gotta talk about your outfit. No, 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 we gotta talk about everything. We, we gotta, gotta talk, talk about, about your everything. Outfit. I'm gonna put them on blast right now. I, 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 I support you, and I actually thought she hated it. And I thought, my taste level, I said, I bet I'll like it. When I saw you in it, I said, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? I don't know. So my partner, um, whom I actually happen to know of, oh. thank God, because he, I'll just say that he appears in um, a show that I'm very familiar with, thank God, uh -huh. because I was not familiar with several of the other people, and I love him, by the way. Um, and he said that he had proposed to do Britney and Madonna. Oh, which would have been, been great. perfect. Who would you have been? Madonna, Madonna obviously. Okay. I don't know. Like, well, because he's much younger than me. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's much younger than me. He's like 25 or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that would have been amazing. Me against the music. Hey, oh. Britney. Do you know what I mean? It would have been perfect. That would have been so fun. It would have been so so fun. Instead, they have us do this act. The subtext of which is a little R A P C Y. Oh, really? In what way? Well, we were Avon sales ladies. Oh. Selling cream that makes men take their clothes off. I, it, it, I don't think it's. I mean, it's, it's comedic drag dancing. Well, that. You know what I mean? The subtext is not the problem. The problem was the whole number. You're not in law. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not a dramatic... <laughs> You're lost. <laughs> I was gonna say. The, the, the real problem the, the outfit. outfit. Brittany, uh, and the, Brittany and I would have been so fun. It would have been so great. This number was so boo-boo. The, the, the costume... Purple and red. Girl, purple I... I'm not red. I hate this purple, purple and red. red so much. Never in my life... Never in my life did I ever purple and pink. I don't wear purple. You know what a red hat lady I don't is? wear purple. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't do purple. Uh huh. I don't ever do purple, really. That means that there's one time in my life where I've worn purple. Purple's one of those colors. It's hard. I like the lilac. Sure. If there's a blonde, I think makes my hair look really buttery. Okay. But see, I don't like pastel. Okay. Jewel tone purple? It's fabulous on my deep skin. Sure. Mid not on medium me. skin. No. Very fair skin. It's just not the color. No. No, it's not. The, the costumes were so gross, and the hair was so matronly, and it was just like, it was, why did they do that to you? Uh, they really did me dirty, but how about this though? How about this? Um, so I agree to do the things that sounds like fun. Yeah. And, um, and then I get the schedule. Tell it. My call time is 6 a.m. in drag. <laughs> to get picked up. Space oh. done. 6 a.m. in drag. No. So I said, okay, will you be shipping the methamphetamine to my apartment the night before? <laughs> or how, the should, full we, fat Red how Bull? should we broach this? Yeah. Um, guess what time I went? Guess what time I was on camera? 11 a.m. Are you saying you were in drag for five hours before anything happened? Mm -hmm. Was it rehearsal? Why were we there at six in drag? Was it rehearsal? They wanted me to do a 10 second run through. Like, you know how they do, like, I'm um, checking in on the, the diva as she gets painted? Mm hmm They want you to do, like, a... Is everything okay? okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, how's it going? Ten seconds. Who did the makeup this season? Um... They worked those girls out. Yeah, I think it was, like, Mayhem, um, Layla, May something like I'm not sure, I forget. But, like, a couple, a few drag queens, yeah. The great thing about celebrity drag races is they get real drag queens, which, honestly, any show you've seen where it's bad drag makeup... What's that show? Um, the divorce show with the Jonathan Taylor Trump. The divorce show? Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, 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 uncoupled. 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 Not Jonathan Taylor Thomas. John <laughs> the divorce show with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. 
<laughs> yes. The Netflix show with uh, Neil Patrick Harris. The drag queen in that. Yes. That's an example of a union makeup, makeup artist person doing drag. Who's like Googling stuff. drag and then getting a, buying a blue stick at CVS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you look at like Vanessa Williams on Celebrity Drag Race. You're like, okay, a drag queen did that. Yeah. Totally. It's 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 Yes, also, Mark Layla just won an Emmy. She sure did. So we're here. Layla, sick and luscious, won an Emmy for makeup for We're Here. That is so it's incredible. incredible. That means yeah. every makeup job they ever get, they'll be able to ask more money. Mm -hmm. Emmy, Aw Emmy Award winning makeup artist. It was the hard. It was one of the hardest gigs I've ever done. I don't blame you. It's no, I know, I know, I know. But it was like it's a fun gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was so. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. The one thing I will say, the one thing, keep, keeping it back to HVAC, uh -huh. get, bring it back home. When you know, I, th there is always a silver lining when you know that RuPaul is in the vicinity. Uh -huh. Because I'm not happy to see RuPaul, although I am. You know, I'm always happy to see RuPaul. I'm more happy to feel RuPaul. Not literally, but I'm more happy to see share the air with RuPaul. The air con. Because I know that if RuPaul is in there, yeah, of course. 50 degrees. 50 degrees. I think of her as a canary in a coal mine. I think of her as an ice sculpture. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's an ice sculpture. She will melt. And you ha it has to be perfect. In the coal mine, yeah. if there's coal in the air that's burning, yeah, 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 if yeah. RuPaul's in there, that means it's safe for me to go in there. <laughs> it's a safe space. <laughs> if you call yourself an LGBTQIA plus space and you don't have air conditioning, a liar. You are, you are a liar. You you're are. Liar. You're harming gay people. How does it feel to cut to kill gay people? And just, and just do this. Drag queen call time should be the last minute. I'll tell you this. I will always show up absolutely ready yeah. and on time. Yeah, so don't fuck with me, Maria. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. And don't, don't do that thing where you lie to me and say, because you didn't know I was going to come on time. I will be there on time. Don't do that. Don't elicit do me. Don't, don't elicit me. me. Don't Valentina me. Yes. And don't stand with me. Don't, like, I will show up. If you tell me the time, I will be there. But also, and, and here's the thing, is like, um, this happened um, with another whatever, whatever. Um, if this is a drag queen production, like when it happens, with like when you're a guest on like Grey's Anatomy or something, I totally get it because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know that your beard goes in by the by the minute. They they think you're Ellen Pompeo, you know, and that you can just sit around in a gorgeous trailer and be amazing, you know, like you can look you look from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'd look the same. Yeah, that's not the case. But they don't know that, so you understand. But they know exactly what they're doing, mm -hmm. and so there's no excuse when it's so angry. There's no excuse. But you know, you think Dan Dana Pump was telling me they're shooting uh, Dana Pump rules, and she was like, I have been basically, she's like, I refuse to go in and like, sit there while other people film scenes. She's like, I'm always on time, and I come ready, so tell me the exact moment, and yeah. I will be there. Yeah. 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 My God. Well, here one we other thing. What is it? I've been having sex in my bed. I know. You know, it's the second act for you. It's a bloody second act. <laughs> it's a little like the oh. suggestion. Well, I wouldn't say that. What I've done with my asshole has led me down absolutely like fruitful path. But my advice to you is no fingers. No, I don't like that. When people are like, start with a finger, I'm like, with no. a fucking fingernail on it? Are you no. Jack the Ripper? No. No. They pull that finger out, I look like a carved pumpkin. <laughs> like, no. We're not doing that. I hate that. Absolutely not. No. Um, this is like some real shit. I know people who have a really tight butthole, who, if a guy's coming over that they know they're not sexy, they will like, they pre-fuck themselves. Yeah. 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 And I, I think that probably is good for people who are trying to get used to it. I don't know. I'm a bottom, but... I think I'm going to do that. So, like... The problem is... Like... I'm in a relationship, so, like, most of the time... When you're in a relationship, sex, not every time is... Yeah. The, the, the Avengers. Right. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just, like, a little, like... Can we do this while we're both on our back? Mm -hmm. And the lights are on, and we're watching television. You know, like... It doesn't have to be an event. You know? And then I don't like to do full sex with strange men. Uh huh. So, like, I don't know. Like, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot.
first I of all, it. here's what I have to do. I'm not starting myself. I'm not doing any of that. I'm not doing any whole like colonic irrigation system. I Absolutely it's not. If you need to, like. The joke about, like, I'm a bottom, so I have water for dinner. No. If, if eating no. any food means you are having loose stool, you need to go to a gastroenterologist. Yes, absolutely. Okay? Yeah, that's true. And I have had, I'm very aware of my digestive system. And I, and I, and I know that if I just go in there with uh, the, the shower head, boop, 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 yeah, 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 it's fine. And there's no, no problem so far. You, I mean, you're not getting trapped. No. You're and not I'm not getting, getting irrigated. Fisted. No. I'm not getting fisted. I love that your friend group, you can't ask for bottom advice because they're like, can't. start with the elbow. I can't. I can like, well, it's like, well, can you get up to the knee yet? I'm like, no, I can't no, get I the can't. foot in there. It's, the, it's, they're not helpful. They're not helpful. When one, like, yeah. But it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's fun. It's, a lot of things have to be in the alignment though. Like, yeah. Not, you want to be like, not tired. I don't know. I think it. I'm more interested in sex in the middle of the day. Mm hmm After dinner, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm old. But I don't want to have sex in the morning. Do you still always want to have morning sex? Ooh. I'd like, it's like nine in the morning. I'd like, whoosh, whoosh, you crotty top across the bed. Like, get out of here. Yeah, go. I'd like, <laughs> yeah, take him off the porch of the broom. <laughs> get out of here. Go on, get. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> gorgeous to my <laughs> What do you love about your new house? The fact that I'm lady free. I'm lady free. Are you air conditioned out? I am. Central? I'm lady free. Lady free. Remember the heat wave that just happened? Uh -huh. Oh no, you wouldn't have to you. You, you were dead. I, I wouldn't know. Because <laughs> I was like this. It was so hot in London too though. And it was 95, 104 one day. I stepped out onto my gorgeous desk to pick a lemon from the tree. And went back into the ice box and made lemonade. Fancy things all living in LA. Do you have a lemon tree? Make a little gin tonic with it. Let me just go pick a lemon. I grab it. What did you do with it? Take a half big tree. I'm gonna make the tree leave me a half a million dollars and I'll give no lemon back. Meyer lemon. You love it. I got a giant. I don't even know what it's called. It's like a carafe but it has a spigot on it. And you put the lemons in there. I squeeze them all into there with tons of ice and water. That's not lemonade. No, 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 no. That's lemonade. No sugar. No sugar. Oh, that's my not lemon. Lemonade. You're drinking lemon, lemon water. No, no, no. My, a lemonade. These my lemons are so flavorful. They're like the size of grape juice. And each one yields about that much juice. You're going to need a master cleanse? It's so delicious. You don't even need sugar. You know about the master cream? It's the yeah, other kind. I think the cream pepper maple, maple syrup, syrup, syrup and lemon juice. It's, cr it's crazy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's lunatic. It. It's lunatic. It's lunatic. Those people are lunatic. Lunatic right over there. Fasting is okay. Mm -hmm. Might as well just be fasting at that time. You might as well. You know? Yeah. It's just you're just great. You're crazy. You might as well just eat right. Well. <laughs> eat. Eat pick. Well, thank you for joining us thank today. You yeah, we'll um, see you again very soon. We're on, the, we're on the road. We're heading to, we're doing a show in Buffalo tomorrow. Yeah, if you want to come see us, we're playing all over the United States and Canada. 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 Mostly Canada this month. Mostly Canada. And then uh, we'll be coming over to Europe and the UK. We're playing everywhere in Europe and the UK, mm -hmm. including Wembley Stadium in London. Yeah. And uh, God, we'll be doing this for Christmas. Getting fun. Happy holiday. I have been grabbed. I mean, this is coming from me. This is coming from a hardcore workaholic. I'm not talking on out. I've been telling everyone. When this toy's over in this thing, I know. We're not doing this again. No. Not on this level and not for this long. No. COVID changed me. I'm no. a homebody. No. I want a husband, a home, a pet, no. and people. Do you realize? I want to like get the mail. Do you realize? I want to get a Zimba car. Do you realize what it took to get mail? I have a brand new car, a brand new house. A brand new person who's been doing sex to my, my decrepit body, mm -hmm. central air conditioning, a Meyer lemon tree, gorgeous cable, a new game of Thrones show, a lovely rug, a new bed frame, a brand new mattress, mm -hmm. DJ sheets, three jets coming out of the horizontal part of the bathroom to fucking here. I love my life. Mm -hmm. And I hate it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't hate it right now. But it's challenging. I like being on stage. I Everything else stage is just now. part of it. It's just part of it that I could take a leap. I don't like getting in drag. I don't like sleeping on a bus, you know, but I like doing the show. That's it. 
I love sipping on the bus. I'm lying. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, good. Have my little half sip of wine and then retire to the back bus where I read my little book and go to sleep, I think. We've been having piss and piss in the bus? Yeah. Are you in the bus? They're not sitting there. Alright, we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Check, 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 hey, ho, hey, well, ho, well, what do you know, well, sure, nothing. I gotta ask you, I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. We're sitting in the same place where my bed used to be, where I've had sex with many, many, many men, including my boyfriend. Is that what all the two inches of crust on the ground is from? Yeah, right well, from you can tell the bed was here for the day. Yeah. And this rug was blue, but now it's an off-white. Off-green <laughs> white, well, this is this. I mean, this is, we're making do. We're gonna make. We're gonna use this room as a studio. I would say, as far as making do, that this is kind of country girls in the <laughs> This is a nice little. Yeah. Well, well. I guess this gorgeous piano table will have to do. Oh, all we can do is look out the high side. A darling, it was horrible. We had to do the podcast in the condo. <laughs> How are you living <laughs> for the fantasy of being not just on tour but in your house, sweetie? Darling, when I tell you the way that I've been feeling, you will know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's sickening. It is sickening. Thank you, Brandon. Um, for the straight who are listening, that means good. Yeah, yeah. I am not ill, although I look very sickly. I am not. It is sickening. I love it. I grew up with the time change. I've been getting up at a nice crisp 4 a.m. <laughs> are you serious? Yes, I can't not. Today I slept until 8. It was a miracle. 8 a.m. I had to get good and drunk last night to do it, but yeah. Yes, I have a we love to record. We love to record. We love podcasts. We love to do podcasts. <laughs> but we do get copious notes sometimes of like, hey, can you not finger bang the microphone? Yeah. Or, like, you know. or like when the ad, when I sit in my ad reads, hey, can you um do what's on the page and also mention the product and maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, there's like, what, people don't know, like when you do an ad read, there's a call to action. There's a section where it is, you have to basically yeah. verbatim read it. And it's usually important stuff like a website. Yes, but also there's a wildly, there, there's a huge variation in the, um, graphic design of these uh, instructions. Yeah. Where sometimes it's like comic stands in, in, in giant font and then like a, an asterisk with like fine print. You're like, what the fuck is going on here? Well, the other reason is because people like us who do fun voices, then, so I'll be like, I'm a little garbage yeah. bitch. Yeah, yeah, and like, then I'm like, you guys see one of the intro? Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wait, who's the garbage bitch? <laughs> I just love what I just did. Yeah. Garbage I'm bitch. I'm a little garbage bitch. bitch. And I love this shop, but I'm Shopify. Yeah. And if you're a garbage bitch. Go down to Gelson's and pick up a gallon of milk. We're having a holiday special on yeah. milk. Ketamine therapy can be great for garbage bitches. <laughs> um, I told David Silver, I said, I think that since we now live in this playful home, I think that it's time for me to have Brandon send you my list of dietary restrictions. So Brandon had me help me send him a little snack list. I said, these are the items I couldn't just want for the whole time. Well, you know, the fancy people, like, you know, you know the security systems that are all, like, remote? Mm -hmm. You can actually get, um, so in every entryway. You did it again? Oh, sorry, I keep it It's thick. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to hold it like When you're that. sucking cock, are you like, <laughs> No, no, ever. All teeth. <laughs> no, um. Do you like to suck cock? <laughs> I mean, for real. Like, does anyone? That is I actually think I, a really good question. And I think I want to, and then it's happening, and I'm like, wrap it up. It's not because I'm lazy. I'm not lazy. Like, I, I'm very active, uh, full active life in the bedroom. But sometimes the stuff you get in cots is corny and played out. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the cock, too. But <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the cock. <laughs> Well, I mean, listen, if you have a you have a micro and then you've got a huge giant King Kong dong, well, two very different experiences. So it's, it's nice to go for a lovely walk. It's a different thing to run the marathon. marathon exactly. So, I think the high Kilimanjaro. The best is when someone like, they, want their, they want their dick stuff and they have one of those fucking Pepsi can dicks where you're like, you're unhinging, you feel your jaw crack, your eyes are watering. But then it's just, it's all theater. 
because you gotta get you get both hands involved, your shoulders, and then it's like you're kind of just like skirting the issue. You're just a part of it. Yeah, yeah. You're you're like licking. It. It's not really going in your mouth because I am fascinated by the people who lie on their back, head off the bed, and then get throat shots. I'm like, Mama, you should be more. There's food I feel that way about. It. Or I'm like, I wish I Oreo could take that. Or- <laughs> I want to get you. You need to go to the Ivy, lay on the table with your your uh, your head back, and be like, "I'll take my hors d'oeuvres this way." <laughs> Did you go to the Ivy a lot in the UK? I've never been to the Ivy. It's a chain in the UK, isn't there? Not a I chain, think, but there's, there's more than one. I thought it was an exclusive like spa though. They used to say in the '90s like LA like hot spot. I, I guess it's not. Oh my oh. god! Hi. Oh. Right. Eating with the food. Yeah. Should we? Uh, no, she, no, she said I'm down here eating. I'm not coming. In. I am eating. I'm eating. I'm actually taking eating out tonight. You didn't want to do it. I know. That's so, so nice of you. But the cosmetics um, team and I are all going to, to good news. But back to sucking good news. Yeah, so, that's the thing. You get it. <sighs> but do you like it? I do like it. Like I'm in a text of uh, in, in a sex message or like a grinder. I'm like, I want to suck your cock for hours. But maybe it's a promise. I overpromise. I'm like, you just lay there. I'm gonna do all the work, which is not how I ever feel about anything, including sucking cock. So who is this person? It's like I get possessed by she like is, uh, the service. I want, yeah, I want to service the riveter. you. I don't even service my vehicle. <laughs> you are like all the guys have left for war, and you're you're just ready to work, and you're ready to do whatever it takes right. to help your country. <laughs> I, I'm like a little hooker in like red, white, and blue with a wet pussy outside of a bar, going like, "Are you gonna come in, team?" <laughs> but then when I get there. Two pumps in, I'm like, uh, I'm like, are you moving in? <laughs> what are you doing? This is moving too fast for me. Get out, 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 out. Yeah, I, uh, I, it, uh, I don't know. here's the funny thing. I don't love having, I don't love having a good Can we be honest? Let's be honest. I also don't care much for that. And so it's like, are we all pretending that we like to suck dick or want our dick stuff? Or we all make believe? No, no, no. I know people who will gobble on these, like, and here's the other thing. I love to eat ass. Love it. I mean, if I had to pick, like, top five favorite activities of, of Earth, eating ass is one, one, two, or three. So you feel much stronger about eating ass. Oh, like, my God. I, See, I feel very strongly about sucking cock, and I don't care. Yeah, that's not. But, so wait, is, but is I'm it, saying I love to suck cock. I love to work. <laughs> but the problem I is... I go to hell sucking cock. I go to hell sucking cock. I got veneers so that I could just be more reckless. These are rubber. <laughs> they, they fold back. <laughs> they come out. I told you that my... Like my base player thought that my teeth came out at night. Right? That's fair, though. Because, no, that's fair because dentures, uh, dentures, dentures? Well, it's an off brand. <laughs> when you can't afford dentures, you get dentures. You're gonna the alley. Get dentures. <laughs> 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 Not, wait, we got not to pivot. There's a new season of Repel Drive, right? Oh, and there are twins, twins called Sugar, sugar and, and Spice. And I'm, ser- I'm sorry, I love good branding. Mm-hmm. Two twins named Sugar and Spice who be dragged together. Work. Oh, you're like you're a conductor. Their yeah. Instagrams are call me sugar, I think, and call me spice. Wow. Uh, that is marketable. What about um? It's um. Sweet, 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 sweet. Yeah, <laughs> but, you know those thickening queens, Sriracha and General Sal. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> One time, hot and sour. I'm trying to. <laughs> no, or you know um. Ketchup and mustard, those stick me. Yes. Well, that's um, what's your name? Uh, 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 <laughs> Tita Burger. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she has the condiment, uh, the condiment game um, on lock. Corners. No, but that's they are fierce. And Fina actually brought them to my attention because they are like on TikTok or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, they're, they're kicking shoes. Oh no, I think they're uh, they're like oh yeah, they're, they're kicking shoes. They're that doing is a lot of like we're two boys. No, we're not. Yeah, it's like <laughs> oh my god. I guess we're too hot. Dude, but wait, uh, we're sexy, like, you know, color. Yeah. I mean, great. I, I, I don't understand. Like, I'm, I'm actually, for the first time, pretty excited to see if they compete as a unit. Which, I know that's stupid. It's a moment, but I don't think they are. You get first. Well, it smells good, at least. I love, I don't care much for fast food, to be honest. Like a, a fast food milkshake. Oh, <gasps> it is here. Okay. Um, in, and I did a lot of fast food when we were in the UK for a while. For example, right now. Like a late night, like, Nick Plant, because they have the veggie burger there. Oh, and then McDonald's. McDonald's. It always lines down the block. McDonald's in Poland? In why is it that, why is it that, oh, McDonald's. Americans love McDonald's. In the UK, you would think it's fucking Buckingham Palace. You That's think it's Black place. Friday. It's crazy. It's, it's wild. It's crazy. And it's like 30 of those screens where you order your own food. Yeah. 
uh, when at after clubbing, Mama, good God speed to you. If you ever go Friday, Saturday night after 1, 2 a.m., it is Lord of the Rings. It is. Or, or Lord of the Flies or whatever. Lord of the Rings. More of Yeah, yeah. Um, it is a free for all. People are wild. They're, they're screaming. They're fighting. You can't. It's just, it's just pandemonium. But we, in Poland, we went to, um, I was like, oh, okay. Go to three restaurants. They're all booked up on, a, on an afternoon. A on, on a lovely gray afternoon. Yeah, a Tuesday at 3 p.m. Oh, we have no, you have a reservation? I'm like, what? So we go to McDonald's. Pack. I have to go to another McDonald's. Pack. Crazy. Do you think it's like the culture of it's either sitting down planned meal or get in and get out? Yeah, it's either reservations for goulash or you like fight, duke it out to McDonald's. Yeah, but they also have better vegetarian options. I mean, it's, there's more vegetarian food in general. It's right? a different restaurant. It's, it's it a totally is. different restaurant. It's plant. Yeah, Mick Plant. It's called a Mick Plant. It's a plant-based burger. I don't love the name. But is it good? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a fast food burger. It's like chickpeas and stuff? No, I think it's like sort of a PVP textured vegetable protein. But, okay, wait, stuck, stuck in the gym talk, one last thing. Uh-huh. Um, I, I'm very sensitive to teeth. Yeah, very sensitive to teeth. And I find that... It's an unflattering mouth shape you have to make in order to really get in there with a you no know, teeth. Like, you gotta you that really, is a really good point. It is like I mean, you know, it's like I mean you really have to wrap those lips down and under and then bite because I mean not bite but you want some <laughs> you want some friction. There's gotta be some like amount of pressure. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're kind of exerting. Yeah, and then it's like but uh, this is gross. I don't think it's too gross. I love sloppy. Okay, it's so like wet, dripping. Like, no, like the food. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. Um, yeah do you yeah, know about yeah. the porn where it's, it's sucking cock, but it's the, the, it's the, what the gag is? Gag the fag. Gag. gag the fag. Where the whole point of it is just someone on the verge of puking like, <laughs> have, you, <laughs> have you seen gag the fag? The gag the fag is a series of pornos where it's another queen under <laughs> <laughs> Sugar and spice and gag, gag the fag. <laughs> Great drag name. Gag, gag the fag. Hi, I'm Gag, and I'm a fag. Or Gag and drag. <laughs> mean the, bean. Gag and fag. Uh, okay, anyway, so they, it is exactly what you described, but it gets to a level of um, it, it's such a viscous, thick, almost uh, puke-like uh, mucus. Yeah. Where it is like it's like ectoplasm. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> it becomes more. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not thick. It turns into it's mama. It's something, something darker. Yeah, it's, it's, a, more it's a placenta. Evil. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like um, it's like gelatin. Hi, Christy. Who doesn't love getting you on these for the holidays? Nobody. That's it. You guys, while I'm recording this, I'm on tour for six two hours opening. This. I did too with a letter opener, and then guess what I did? I wrote check to pay bill. I wrote check. Do you not normally write checks? No, I do online. I like writing checks. Because it feels, Fine. it makes me mentally feel like I did that. Yeah. Just hope, you know, put it in the hands of the post office. Right. I mean, yeah, but a lot of times it's like, you want to pay your Los Angeles water department, following part of it, do you know your password? No, no I don't. No, I surely don't. No, I don't. And no. I don't, and I never did. No. And I never will. Today, but, today our accountant said, do you have an um, IRS uh, account? I said, do I you? have no idea. Do you, Mr. Accountant? I have my no <laughs> idea. I have no idea. I, I can't. See, I went to our account. We have the same account. And I went to his office today, and I just had a stack of. What is this? What does this mean? Uh, it was like yeah. a reverse tarot card reading. It was like, <laughs> well, what is this? Well, this is a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah. Do, are you? I'm, I love and I I sleep good knowing I pay them all, and someone is in charge of them until they pay correctly, and I go to sleep happy. Sure. Living in the shadow of like, I don't know how to pay my taxes. I never have, and I hope they never find me. A lot of people live like that. Yes, yes. However, like I, I lived that, lived like that for years, and a lot of the drag queens back in Boston did. Well, when you work for cash, and also do that. But I'm saying people who are on the books. The government knows you're getting paid, and you're not being a tax yet. Right. Just because you're like, I, uh, even TurboTax.com, you're like, it's too much. Yeah, it is too much. Yeah. I mean, I tried to, um, I tried to like hook up a soundbar to my TV, and I started crying. Mary, every time, well, I guess now I don't want to leave in there, but every time I've had to sit down and try to smoke some bomb, it's a Google journey. It's a deep dive. I gotta go, bam. I gotta go, bam. I gotta go, like, a I don't scavenger hunt. I do it. I need a cord, that one that plugs into the bar and then into the TV, and that's it. I know. So I'm gonna go get a new one. I was just in a line. Sennheiser Ambio, $2,500. That's expensive. Yeah. Crazy. The new house um, has a, I mean, David went off. 
with the Casper and it's a huge fish, California king. Mm. He bought, he tricked me into buying expensive sheets and pillows. Yeah, I need to honey, need to palpate these honey. Because I looked on their website I and I was like, no, 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 tell me, tell me exactly because I am deep in like, my connoisseurship of, or my exploratory, um, whatever of the sheet world is deep in business. It's those, what are they called? Brandon! Now, what, is it a linen? Is it a, is it a, um, it's is that, it percal? Is it like, what, what, what is it? Hey, Brandon. Like it's, you know, some of those duvet covers or those duvet, two thousand, three thousand dollars. Well, and I mean, to, to be honest, my sheets here were probably from Amazon. Or yeah, Target sheets, twenty five bucks. But now that I'm laying on a sheets from a company that is their job is to make sheets, yeah. I'm like, whoa, your skin is not to, not to be white trash. I got in bed and was like, it feels like a hotel. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because my bed, my bed, my sheets suck, and hotels have nice sheets. So those, like, it feels like a hotel. I get back from tour, and I'm happy to be in a hotel bed again. I'm like, well, <sighs> I love a hotel bed. And it has the bedroom as one of those TVs that looks like a painting. Oh, so wow! It. It's a magic eye. You have to squint to watch the TV. No, David Silver wakes up, immediately puts on Real Housewives of New York, and just watches it in bed. Wow! You ever see the ones that have like it's like a condenser or like a foot of the bed that just never comes out? Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. I don't like TV in the bed. I have a hard no on that one. I don't like TVs in the bed being period. At the motel, David just bought me because he wanted to be screens in the room. I said, we should be no screen room. People are not no. coming here to watch TV in the room. Oh Everybody God. has a computer, an iPad. We can watch Netflix on our phone again. I watch Netflix on my phone. I would much rather you have a whole projector set than watch Netflix on your phone again. Well, I just, I also, I think like when you have a bedroom and you go to bed and there's a huge TV on a dresser, that's just, that's why the, the, the painting is fabulous. Especially if it's Thomas and Tay. The painting is like, So wait, wait, it, 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 it there's, I don't know what the name There's four of them. And they're not in one room. <laughs> we really like to feel the sound. <laughs> we come to this place for magic. <laughs> But it's like, it looks like a painting, and then when you turn it on, it looks like a TV. Because it, it dims, and it projects, like, based on the light in the room. It looks like a painting. Yeah, it looks like a painting. And, it, and depending on how bright or dark it is in the room, it dims to, like, match the room. Here. And what's the sound, what's the audio setup you guys? I mean, we've only lived this video, so it's just a TV room. Oh, okay, okay. We don't have, right now, the living room is a couch and a TV. We don't have chairs. That's okay, but you know what though? Don't rush into that shit. Or not rush Don't into. rush. But Dave and I are feeling friction in our lives because we're really? suggesting items that I believe are old maiden type of furniture. No, 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 no. Oh. Bill Gates type of furniture. But here's the thing about that. You can meet in the Trump middle. power furniture. Well, that's just that's golden toilet. toilet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But here's the thing though. I'm, I'm very like, uh, I am taking very slowly to the furniture because I want it for the rest of my life. That's what David feels. I mean, and it's true though. You don't want to, if you can afford it, and you have a, a certain level of economic comfort, don't get cheap furniture. No, you're right. Don't you're right. do it. And it, you know, David was like, "Why would you buy this house and sell it some shit?" And I was just like, "Well, you're gonna get rid of it. It's gonna I break know, or whatever." But money is still money, and I, I, I think frugality is just. Money. And so, it's a hard when he's like, "This is a three thousand dollar coffee table," and I'm like, "Mama, no, that's fine." I'm, t- I'm telling you, he, he, he got to you. No, 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 no. I um, I spent a four thousand dollar couch that I have never one moment regretted in my life. I'm about to pay probably three thousand to have it upholstered because it's ugly, but it's worth it. I'm gonna have that couch forever. I and bought it is such an integral part of like, my life. Again. I bought a custom couch for that living room, and then we moved. So now I'm having to have it reupholstered. Oh, that's okay. They said the frame was built and everything, and now they're like, we're just going to... I said, well, what the fuck are you going to do? You know, get ready for that whopping price tag, because you're going to gag. I'm going to gag. I, it's, I don't know. Let's talk about the uh, second talk coffee. coffee. <laughs> Let's go back to second <laughs> coffee. When I, I just said, I like used things. I like vintage or like... Yeah. Thrifting. Absolutely. Goodwill. You know, like, Mary, this is a $5 chair that I've had for about 10 years. I play guitar on it. I love it. It probably has bed bugs. It was five bucks. <laughs> I got it from a Goodwill. I love it. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Thrifting in Los Angeles, vintage, vintage in Los Angeles is tricky because they got it. They got it. If you go to Salt Lake City, if you go to um, anywhere else, really, Kentucky, yeah. the thrifting can be fierce. Texas, Los Angeles, yeah. off the chain. Insane. It's insane. Fairfax Market? 
You like that broken dresser? Oh. It's haunted. It comes with a ghost and it's 30,000. Yeah. First dibs, you ever been on that fucking app? No. First dibs. I was like, oh my god, I love that chair. It's only 25 grand. There, I need second and third dibs. <laughs> chair is the dip. same way. The chair, yeah. It, it, great stuff, wonderful selection, but go please. I'm trying to buy some nice stuff. So there's this artist here like called Alex Gross. Mm -hmm. He buys, they're called, uh, I'm talking to him. Anyway, they're cards, old portraits. They're okay. Korean portraits. Oh, sure. And he mounts them and paints over them. So it has like the face of some old Victorian man, and then he paints them to be home and sink. Oh, funny. And they're really small, they're cabinet cards. They're like this big. But they're expensive, but I really want them. Oh. And they're limit. They're only one of they're one of a kind. Yeah. So on the internet, trying to find anybody who has them to sell it to me. Here's, here's the thing about this. This is where you can leverage your celebrity, though, because we are um, we have so many fans, artists who are fans of us. Uh huh. Like um, uh, there's this. Well, but like I've. There are people who would like give you a, a deal that they, you know, much, much cheaper than they would sell at the gallery that they, that they show it. And you can have a one-of-a-kind piece like this, you know, keep it. Well, I found a painting on the internet uh, on Craigslist. The giant one? Yes. I got David to rent a U-Haul. And David drove a U-Haul and we drove to Alhambra, California three days ago. He complained the whole time. <laughs> Until we got there and it was amazing. Yeah. It's huge. Is it framed? And it fit this, this, it's a wall that fits. It fits the whole fucking wall. Oh, that's so cute. And it was, it sounds like a lot, but 500 bucks? But $500 is nothing! But it's the size of a, it's cute. That should be 50000 And then we went to Home Depot and bought the the kit to mount it for 100 pounds. Yeah. Mount it. I can't believe we, it's it was only $500 because yeah. this guy was getting rid of it. That's so cute. But that's what I think. I think buying all new shit is sort of like tacky and weird and thin. Well, but I, you should not cook. The new furniture is not what good. What things do you want new and what things do you want second or third? You know. Sheets, new. Yeah. Everything else, uh, vintage, used, whatever, because all the like quality craftsman stuff is like from the uh, 20th century. I mean, yeah. This place was built in 2006. It's constantly falling apart. Yeah. The house I moved into is from the 1800s. Yeah. 1800? 1880s. That's what it is. Uh, well, oh, I, haven't, I haven't felt the presence. No, but you have the sight, though. You're probably gonna see anything. I'm probably gonna see anything. Yeah. I would love to get like, I don't know, the type of TV so I could read testimony and go, oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you haven't done your laundry in three weeks. <laughs> or like, um, oh, oh. Did you just fart? <laughs> oh, wait, you have diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> I have this psychic ability where I can tell if someone's been farted because I just smell it. <laughs> You have, the ability, you have the uncanny ability to tell whether someone's burped in your face. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no way for me to figure it out. Well, uh, should we talk about burping? No, I want to talk about, um, I want to talk about, I just lost it. Could I say it? Yeah. I love talking to you <laughs> when I don't see you every <laughs> I day. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We have things to talk about. We have something to, you know what, what have you done since you've been back for this exercise? Um, so they're working on, um, I have some fabulous people redoing my backyard. Like, like, as we see, killing and gardening and... We're, yeah, oh yeah, bitch. The new, new grass? Um, new plants. These plants are out of this world. Are you going to get a garden? garden? Have a garden. Yeah, you can't put them out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm not going to put them Yeah. We have irrigation. Don't even look at them. No, I'm going to look at them. With binoculars. From <laughs> inside. <laughs> you know? um, and, uh, bitch, it's just been... It's been non-stop fabulous. Oh, I saw Barbarian last night. Oh, let's take a break and talk about Barbarian. Okay. We'll be back in a minute. The little girl who loves time. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Is it checking your credit score? Didn't think so. When I wake up, I like to see my Thomas Galaxy. Pennywise? You sort of think, oh, she's going to be evil. Mm -hmm. That's Pennywise. Mm -hmm. Star Shard Butter? So they put all that human makeup over his face. They could have just gotten you. I was, uh, I was, I had no idea. I was down a d uh, drain killing kids. I have no idea. Yeah, that's it. So, exactly. so you sort of think, oh, this is going to be a woman's going to find a shot. And then it, when it shifts to Justin Long, who I love, by the way, love me like, everything. What up, love faggot? <laughs> so fierce. So funny when he was like, with a, he says, but there is so many parts. Of There's a part where he's um, on the computer and he goes, hell yeah, bitch. <laughs> when he's alone talking to himself, he goes, heck yeah, bitch. He is so funny. And he also, did. they play him like, in the beginning, you're like, well, not spoiler. You think, like, 
oh, he, he's being framed for me too. And then he gets drunk at that bar, and he's talking about it like she wanted it. She said no, but she wanted okay, it. And then said. you're like, oh, he... Yeah. They try to set you up like, maybe he didn't do it, and then you're like, oh, yeah, I'm like he did, and he didn't. And touch with the yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he was a very well-drawn, um, usually rapist character. But you still kind of feel bad for him. You feel like you did that wrong, that's horrible. And you feel like almost like a child, like, you don't even know how fucked up you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but he but thinks he's a victim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but especially with the drunk phone call, it's like, hey. I was like, oh, God, that was like, oh, I know this guy, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Um, that woman, that, that giant woman. A girl, you know when I knew you were going to love that movie? When she bashed that motherfucker's head against the wall. No. The bottle. The tit. Or the titty stuff, with the hair stuff on, on this titty. In that bottle. Stuff on this titty, bitch. Mary, bub, bub, that bub. room with the mattress and just the baby do something? And she was like, bub, 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 I thought I was like, I gotta call Cena right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, not to be dumb, I didn't even know until they plainly spelled it out to me that we were jumping timeline. I was like, that looks like that neighborhood. But it's different. You didn't have the Reagan on the radio? I don't. Well, you know what that made me think of. But then I was like, <laughs> I was like, but there was no blue people. people. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, Oh, it's because I thought, well, maybe this is like a weird other dimension where it's the same street, but you know, it's, 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 I mean, it was it was fierce, like I mean, a, a little unbelievable, especially driving, but then getting into that neighborhood at night and then in the morning, she gets out of the house and looks around and realizes where she is. And I would have packed my shit and gone. Well, you know what I mean. I loved, and this is like kind of a serious part. They, they, it looks like they mounted the camera in the car to watch them stop that woman. Follow home from the grocery oh, store. That was good. It was that like, was whoa, good. this yeah. is real men do this. But so, how many generations of incest babies produce that for Cuba? It's one of my siblings that you talked about. <laughs> <laughs> it my only sister, takes my about brother, two or three. <laughs> me, yeah. the mama. I don't know because, you know, some people they want their. There's areas of the world that aren't that populated where people don't necessarily move away. England? Yes, I didn't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Sometimes they try to move away and conquer other guys. Honey, if you wake up and you're putting beans, you're putting baked beans on toast, it's because your mom and your dad were brother and sister bits. We gotta stop dragging in there. So they're too through with us. They 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 they've, they've, they've suffered enough. But um, they I had to watch. There was a lot of great little moments. Like I love the structure of it because you know I, I have my attention span is so down to the nub these days. But like I love the vin like it was like vignettes. Um, that were all very compelling and had like a nice structure. Mm -hmm. And then by the, in the first bit where the guy's chasing her, like, don't go in there, you know, like he's chasing after her, trying to save her. To save her. Mary Dugan. I didn't really get that. Chilling. Either. Chilling. Um, but then it was fierce when she's like, uh, are you sure she's not going to come here? I've been here 15 years and then, and then she comes, rips his arm off and beats him to death with it, Six honey. Minutes. Crazy. I love a jab, a thumb in the eye jab. That was really insane. Yeah. That was funny though because his like, any any um, sympathy you might have had for Justin Long's character was out the window when he picked that bitch off the fucking um, tower at the end. I know, but it's consistent. I wouldn't have believed that he oh, was no, so no. magical. Oh, no, no. I love weird mom horror like that. Do you remember the movie Ma? Do I remember the yeah. movie Ma? But also, not Ma, because it's not a mom movie, but do you remember Mama? How about Mother? <laughs> I've not seen Mother. How about throw Mama from the train? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you remember Mama? Mama? Where it's like that, those two kids who are in the forest who were raised by like a ghost of a woman. Remember that? Like two feral children. I'm thinking about the one where they don't know what to do. No, but you know what I fucking think about too? They get Where those two kids go to see their grandparents. I still haven't seen Mary. that. The premise sounds so compelling. Don't tell me anything. I won't tell you anything. I'll tell you this. It's not, um... Who's that got all along with me? Oh, uh, Catherine Hunt. Yes, yes honey. Yes, but honey. And you didn't like the menu. You fucking did. It was, you know what? That chef nice. was amazing. That yeah, the performance was so like, beautiful. Um, uh, yeah. Hong Chao? Eight. Girl, Hong Chao. Dude, and anything. Anything. And every, Mary, did you see Down Down? No, I'm going to watch that. Did we talk about this? Yeah, because, yeah, I went to see it just for her. Um, yeah. Hong Chao and Down Down. Hilarious. Fine. Yeah. So good. And they really... I feel like that movie was marketed like a like, like a honey essence of kids. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty like existential meaning of life. At nineteen I graduated from MIT. At twenty two I, I bought, bought it. it. <laughs>
Lady True. Don't make me talk about watching the game. We have to, we have to move out of dust. Okay? We have to move away from the light. But she's like, oh shit, and those frozen squid are just tearing her up. I read every consumable piece of media out there about watching it. Is this the podcast? Left. Yeah, podcast it's a podcast. Damon, well, here's the thing. Damon Lindelof, Lindelof or something, the guy who's just a runner, he did Chernobyl on HBO. It has an accompanying podcast. And Lost. Yeah, and a Leftover. Yeah, you have. I've got to get a Leftover. I've not seen any of these shows. Mm-hmm. Lost is the whole burning bottle, but um, ripping the French show. It's a cultural moment. What a cool time. I'm not very smart, though, and I like mm-hmm. to watch, like, mm-hmm. it's super nice. I watch a lot of super nice. Mm-hmm. You've got to watch Chernobyl because the way they do it is so incredible. It's so, it is, it is bad. Are you kidding? It's dead. Is it funny? Well, you see that people's flesh literally melt off their body. And that's how it, yeah. But it's cool because the, they made an interesting choice where it also plays in the Soviet Union, mm-hmm. but all the, the, character, uh, the actors are British and they just use their So they're not like, oh, we have must check the general for it because we have to do this. Like, they don't do this the only Russian action. Interesting. It's, it's very effective. There's a Superman comic that I became aware of called Red Sun, and it's about an ultimate history where Superman landed in Russia. Instead of a movie. Ooh, and he's like, you know, it's something that's a little bit. I gotta read it. Zuperman. Yeah. Zuperman. You like the man Zupa? Or Zupa Zupa? What else? What else? Um, oh, I watched Life After Death. I don't know what that is. It's, a zo- it's like a zombie movie with other time. Uh, and she did? She yeah. died? Yeah, it's, it's alright. She's amazing, but... What have I been watching? Mm, I watched Uncle Buck yesterday while doing my mail packages and stuff. Such a great movie. He is so funny, John. John Candy, Candy is the, he's so great. In Del- Did you see Delirious where he plays a soap opera writer? No. Oh my god, it's so great. It's so, so great. Well, it's uh, John Candy and Macaulay Culkin, three home alone. He's like four years old. Macaulay Culkin? Mm-hmm. And Uncle Buck, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a sick name. So funny. Did you fuck John Candy? I did. Uh, no. I would want him, like, I want him to be like my dad. Like my Uncle Buck. <laughs> you know? You see, like, you wish he was in your family. You don't want to play such and such with Uncle Buck? Do you, I mean, is he in Home Alone 2? Do you remember in Home Alone 2 when she was like, hitchhiking to get to New York? She? The mom, like, oh. hitchhikes to get to New York. I don't remember, I don't remember. And she rides in the back of, like, a trailer with a band, a polka band. She hitchhikes to every middle class, upper middle class family? Yeah, but the family's in Florida, and it's, like, raining, mm-hmm. and there's no flight. Remember? Oh, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. Different times. Different times. Yeah. You know, I saw a printout. What is a printout? I saw a tweet. A printout? A I printout. Saw, I, I saw a leaflet on the street. You know, now because I don't want to be a supporter of Elon Musk, I just print out my thoughts from him. And, <laughs> it. and if you're lucky to get one. <laughs> so if you're, yeah, hi, uh, Hollywood and Vine from 3 to 6, I'll be there <laughs> tweeting. <laughs> they, uh, they, said, they, they listed the number of new drag race shows this year. Including all the countries mm-hmm. and all the also, uh, it's something that's just funny. It's like two seasons of Drag Race in one year, an All Stars, a global All Stars, UK, Germany, France. It'll like, well, we're catching up because you hear in budget, sports, sports. There's four different golf channels or more. At mm-hmm. any given time, there's like a million uh, NCAA um, sports, you know, college sports, to professional sports. I mean, of every sport. There's so many things to watch sport-wise on TV all the time. And people are, like, sitting home between golf channels, like, trying to watch two golf games. I don't know. They're sitting at home. They got fantasy league. Fantasy they got golf? Fantasy everything. Why well, is it I don't called fantasy? Because it's not real. And so these aren't real players. No, 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 no. So, like, fantasy football is you compile a team, um, and it's based on their performance in the real world, but your, your compilation of uh, players... Because you never expect me from the Dolphins and like Yeah, also Rogers finish the drag race. Just be like, okay, I get Naomi Small. People do that. Of course they do. Well, I don't know if it works the same way, but... You know. oh, oh, do people... People do like betting pools for drag race. Absolutely. So like Absolutely. a bunch of fags who are like sitting home getting mad mm-hmm. watching it. Yeah. And then they death threats to your house because you didn't win the, the wig ball. You didn't sweep at the wig ball. Do you so I lost the keys to my course. Yeah, because. that hunty cost me the mortgage. Yeah, no. I, I wish you could have been at... um. Hunter's house with me, Andrew Joseph, and like 10 other gay guys. We watched one of season 11 or something. The amount of vitriol. It was like the worst night at the sports bar. Screaming. 
screaming at the queen. Yeah. Like, fuck you, whore, you, you dumb bitch. You worthless whore, kill yourself. Wow. <laughs> it was like, actually, you all had to be like, Maybe we should pull back. And you know, because like, Jack is cool. Because Joseph's great brother was there. That's <laughs> like, he's going to have the worst impression of gay people. It's Somebody, funny. some, I, I'm like conservative now when it comes to supporting drag because I'm so burned out from You're drag. Mega. Yeah. Mega. If somebody today asked if I would go to a drag brunch this weekend, I said, absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely well, I had, had waterboarding that day. Yeah. Well, we talked about this when we got a drag team. That performer could be setting himself on fire and people are staring at it. Yeah. It feels rude. Yeah. It feels rude. It can, it, the, in certain contexts, especially as, you know, during the day at a brunch, I don't want to be, I don't want any attention on me. I, as an audience member, I never want any attention. Circus yeah. Delay, don't come and pick me up. No. Don't come and fondle me. I hate that shit. Girl, when we were at Chicago, I said, when we were at Cabaret. 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 When we were at Cabaret, the dancers come up before the show and they're doing little wiggles. Oh, and I said, please don't come up to me. Like, please don't come up to me. I, I think I would have said, like, me. I know, like, you're, you're, this is, like, your thing, but, like, I can't be a part of it. No. And you have to go to someone else. Yeah. And I also, I'm not a huge fan. I mean, they're all amazing. They're amazing. But Circus Slay does this notoriously. Where, like, you know, they're doing, they're doing bits and characters. And I'm like, I know, like, you're hot and talented. You know what I mean? Like, don't do this, like, put on the hula hoop, man. <laughs> you, you know, put on a little tiara on the hula hoop. Put your song on and, and suck off that, that bear or whatever. Suck cock, suck a duck, suck a dolphin's duck cock. <laughs> and just move on. You know, suck a dolphin's duck cock. And keep stepping. And keep stepping, <laughs> honey. Get on your little unicycle with a dildo sticking out of it. And put it in your glass eye. And tell him to hit the track. <laughs> okay, bitch. Okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get on your unicycle with the dildo sticking out of it. Ah! Do you Girl, humanity? Do your little skin peel. Do your little <laughs> chemical peel. Do a chemical do peel. Do a chemical peel. Fill in your eyebrows. <laughs> Get out the yarn. Do the cat's cradle and go home. Okay, bitch. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it's obvious, but I've never been to social so like, what? <laughs> <laughs> My God, have you been to Zanity ever? No, mommy got to go. The sexy one. You and I performed at that theater. We sure did. It's like the bean-shaped theater. Yeah. Beautiful. Mama. There's yeah. a drag queen in that, isn't there? Uh, it's usually hosted by a drag queen. First it was Joey Arias. That's when I saw it. Oh, wow. Here. Then it was Edie from New York. Incredible. Um, and now, for, for a while, that was actually my dream gig. Because, obviously... You should do it. Well, uh, um, no. Uh, <laughs> why? A, I don't think I... Not pretty enough? Uh, I don't think I could pull it off. B, too much work. C, um, not pretty enough. Yeah, mostly not pretty. Way too fat, not pretty, not talented. Yeah. But um, it, it's hard. It's a hard job. And Joey did it so well. He yeah. was like, because I saw it early. Those shows like really evolved. When they premiered, they're notoriously not ready. Um, but when it, I saw it in the first like couple months, he was sensational. Yeah. Sensational. Um, but uh, mm. the voice, do you think? He, did, uh, he didn't, I don't think he did the Billy Holiday thing, which is a bummer because it's so incredible. It really, like, you close your eyes. It's, it's fucked up. It's, crazy. it's fucked up. It's wild. He looks like the Crypt Keeper. Well, do you know what, do you know what, Jimmy James? Jimmy James is that artist who's famous for doing Maryland. Oh, that's right. He's a live singer. And so he would do yeah, Maryland. He, he looks so much like Maryland. It sounded so much like Maryland. That photo, portraits of him would get through some description of Maryland. And he would have to be like, this isn't you. And they'd be like, oh. Yeah. So that is so cool. what's going to happen with me in London. No, it's gonna happen. To, yeah, that, well, it happened to me in Sam Stone. You know, this thing can see. So yeah, she could sing. She can sing. Um, you know, you know, Thirsty. Thirsty. Oh yeah, I love the share. Her. She's so That's good. the share. Babe. Yeah, she is so wild, and she's on the stand. Yeah, she's amazing. She's and amazing. you know, she never breaks character. One summer, I lived in Provincetown with Diane Stone, my old manager. How do people in Provincetown not break character? It's Girl, mama, it's weird. Very, it's eerie. It's it's it's, 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 it's corny. It's tired of playing. Right? I walk up to Dina Martina. I go. How's your day going? She's like, it's great. <laughs> You're like, I'm like, okay, bro. Like, we're outside in the sunlight. But she never breaks, ever. Um, <laughs> it's great. I'm going to Joe do my show. Okay. Um, <laughs> you talked to Jerry? <laughs> God. So, oh. uh, but, uh, I lived with Diana, and, you know, I was doing four shows a week, doing my thing. I was, well, it was between, it was during, it was hard. It was a hard season. And she would come over. Who? Dina. Thirsty. Oh, thirsty. We'd come over after the gig. And yeah. yeah, and it was like house party. And she would come over as Cher and the Cher outfit never break character. And Diana would call her Cher all the time. She'd be like, well, Cher's going to come over and we're going to hang out. And they would put on Cher music and sing. 
you share all night. <laughs> and I wake up like I come home from my gig like a little hung like a little tired and I'd walk in and share with you and they're like Oh, game. <laughs> what if she started crying because her husband died in the pain last night? That would be so strange. She's doing a deep study. Yeah. If your mom died. Oh, no, but 96 had a good one. Or 97. Yeah, yeah it's, it's... I mean, she was... She's good. You give birth to Cher, you're probably going to look pretty good. Yeah. yeah. You know? You get, you, uh, get birth by Cher. What do you think is going to happen with her? <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's take <laughs> I'm not asking, what do you think you're... I'm saying, do you think your mom is going to heaven? Or do you think your father is going to hell? Because if you don't love God, you're going to be burned for eternity. Eternity is what we call it around hell, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is going to happen when your parents die? Let's take a break. <laughs> I guess what I meant is, you know, Cher tweeted, like, I can't sleep, and I was like, it, I think it is, there's no way to prepare for that, right? I mean, we've had people die recently, um, you know, Leslie died, and uh, a guy did a, who that was a couple years ago, just died, mm -hmm. and it's weird when people die, it's, but I think when your parent dies, it's got to be very displaced. Well, I mean, all, it depends on how, context, I mean, it, 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 when they, if they die in a car crash next week, it's going to be a very different story from my mom's sick. He's gone into hospice, yada, 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 there's a progression. That's probably more common. Yeah. Like, my grandmother, I mean, it is, it is chilling to, like, um, you know, when I, when I visited my maternal grandmother in the hospital, um, I got a little prep. Like, my mom was, like, 15 years old. I'm so glad she did that. And then it shows, like, she looked like a... Yeah. It was so shocking. So shocking. And she's always like, you know, a person who never like, like she's always cheerful, energetic. She slept put with together. One, she's like one leg on the floor. She never really fully went to bed. Um, well, yeah. It's, I've got to say it. <laughs> yes. Constant vigilance. But anyway, she was, it was like, oh, this person is on death's door. Mm -hmm. It was really sad. But um, when my, if my mom goes, if she went prematurely, we go ahead. Yeah. It's going to be. Probably the, it's probably the saddest thing to ever know. My dad? Yeah. I mean, both of them would be horrible. Yeah. Horrible. But it happened. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think no, yeah. no amount of, like, nothing will prepare you for it. So you can't really think about it. You yeah. know, I, I would grieve in, I think I would grieve in, like, the, probably the, it would be the, the, a tragedy that I could deal with pretty graciously or gracefully because I love them and they know I love them and we appreciate each other every day and we all know that everybody dies. You know what else I think about? This is horrible, but people don't realize. Nobody can fill in for us. You and I were on a tour in Australia, and someone in our family died. Uh, can we just leave the tour in the middle? Oh, land in the middle. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and who do we get to play you? Ellen Barkin, which she's available. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But you know, like, I've had family funerals exactly. where I can't go because it's indispensable. Yeah, because so many people work because of us. It's, I just can't. Mm -hmm. I mean, what am I saying? The amount of money, like, it's, it's my mom died on a tour. And I wanted to camp for two weeks of show. So I'm choosing to go. When you cancel a venue, then you can put it up at like tenfold. Yeah, it can be crazy. But so, but that would, if God willing, if that would happen, I'd be like, I would go to this and I'd be like, I'm so sorry, but you're late for the music. Let's take a trip. I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm well, like, kidding. I remember when my grandpa died, I went home the week before the funeral and the week after, because I was also like, oh, everybody can funeral. People probably need help the week before. Yeah, I think there's, it depends on, like, what you, the logistics, uh -huh. because, like, sitting Shiva for seven days is something I'm not going to do, because I'm not Jewish, I don't, you know what I mean, but, like, what is that? Um, it's when you, um, you, you put on a, you change a your name to rubber. Shiva. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't change your name to Shiva. <laughs> Shiva. You change your name to Shiva? And then you sit for seven days. You're lying. You sit Shiva, it's, it's a grieving process that Jewish people do. Seven days. Everything? You never heard about this? Sitting Shiva? Yeah. Well, anyways, we'll, we'll look it up. Jewish, so he's alive. Okay, like, how he hasn't had anybody die close to him? We haven't, I mean, not really. It's fierce. I, it's a very it's fierce to have people die. No, it's, it's a fierce form of grieving because, I mean, I'm, I don't think it's so what do you sit like? Like, what's the pose? Um, you sit like, we sit like that. Mm -hmm. and like, it's like a neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> and then you do like, uh, reclined and then upright. No, you, it, people come, food, 
it's a concentrated, um, intense form of grieving, and I think some people think that it's like you kind of you kind of get out. Of, it's, it's cathartic, and you get out of your system in a way. Hereditary, or oh, not hereditary. Uh, Midsummer. Oh! 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 Seven days. Yeah. Vocal cords gone. I. Um, I I think. I don't know. In at least like a good way. What we would do is we're supposed to grieve the hardest in the days of the you know? mm -hmm. Because you're supposed to like, the form of effect and also it's like a way of purging the like you're supposed, you're supposed to, to a competition. Go Korean funeral whale. Who, Who has the, the most? highest whale? I mean mm -hmm. you, well there's a like when the dictator would die, you know, people are so brainwashed, like it's performative. Right. Like when you know the grand leader is like ah! people, you know, just belongs to people. Pretty wild. But for who for? That person's on a press because they're going. Oh, no, it's for the spectacle of a it's a patriotic spectacle. Mm -hmm. But I, Mary, everybody dies. It's the only thing we all do. It's the only thing we all do. I know, my mom, I was just for the spectacle actually to always do it. I mean I will probably two times a year I would get really excited to picture like, Mom, someday you're gonna die. You know. She's like, Yeah, and I can't wait. <laughs> no, she was like, like, What are you gonna do if you die? And she would be like it's more natural than being born. Because not everybody's born. No, well, I mean, people are born through cesarean section, forced birth, painful, horrible. You know, like, um, left in a dumpster. Um, you know what I mean? So many different conditions. So we all, and we all well, die in the same way, but, like, we die in different conditions, but... It's just, it's on, I mean, it's the birth is crazy. I watched a lot of home birth TikToks. I watched a lot of home birth TikToks. I didn't no, know no, how many no, no, people no. do it in, in the water. Well, they already have kids. And the kids don't know what's going on. So you'll hear like Kokomo on the TV. And you'll hear the kids being like, I'm a little up an eight. And then you see the mom in yoga clothes hanging over a bed being like, Aah! And the kids are like, Mommy, I want a sandwich. Like they don't understand that she's going through. And then the husband in the, the corner with like a bottle of water like, Baby, you're doing great. You're made for this. You're your champion. And what's that midwife? A midwife there? Sometimes. Because usually it's the kiddie pool in the living room. And the birth song is like Guns N' Roses through Child of Mine. Yeah. And it's, and it's a little birth. I'm not making fun of it. It's crazy. I mean, I'm sure there's different versions of it, too. Like the Gwyneth Paltrow food version is probably like a, a cedar tub. Right. Like salt water or whatever. And if you're already home, and let's say you have no pre-existing health conditions, and you're in a hot bath of water, and, and it feels more dangerous that you're not near doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But, I mean, it depends. Like, my, my nephew's birth was, and the pregnancy was, Rock with horrible medical difficulties. And yeah, you know, I mean, if she's, I think she's, if my sister and I did this at home, I'm mean, just gonna wrap on all of them. Well, and there's not like a lot of filming of birth. I need to be more birth surveillance. But I'm saying these people sharing the home birth. I'm like, oh my god, the pain, oh my god, the pain, oh my god, the blood. I watched so many of them. Like, hey, this doesn't seem like even at a doctor. It's, it's, it's scary and crazy, even at a doctor. Oh, it's yeah. scary and crazy. No, but there's shit flying everywhere. There's shit flying everywhere. Everywhere. I saw the little woman. She was, you know, in a kind of like a dog, downward dog, like, you know, with the pain pushing and kind of like, and then poop starts coming out and her husband, Daryl, the whoever, run, runs in with a kid's diaper, a clean kid's diaper, and scoops up her poop yeah. while she's pooping. And then the other kids, it must have been like a really earthy thing. Right? The other kids are naked. The poop. No, they're naked. Oh, oh. And they're in bed just like, Mommy, are you okay? And she's like, I'm fine. But she's like screaming. And I'm like, if you're a kid and you don't know what birth is, if you're watching a birth, is it illuminating or are you like, holy fuck? <laughs> I mean, I saw it, I saw it like a, a, a video of the, of, of, like a tight shot on the, the vaginal opening, you know, tearing as the baby came out and I was like, the way that I would have the only C-section, take the, the leg, only C-section, take the leg, <laughs> take both of them, take the leg and beat me to death with it. I mean, I could never, I could never be... I could never have all that hardware because the first time I got my period in the cramp, I was gonna like, like me. I got to go change it up. Okay, I'm gonna finish that. Every month, I know. Every month, I know. And women just deal with it. And they just have to deal with it. And they have to deal with the public shame and not, and not having tampons readily available falling from the, the sky, which they should. And they're like, well, it's just watch well, the for nausea this day, and the next day I have to plan for not doing anything physical. Yeah, you know, can't wear my white jeans. Some people have these extreme cycles where they have extreme pain. What is it? Endometriosis? Yeah. Where people have like extreme regular pain. Like two to three days, or, or something like four to five days a month, or more, incredible like 
debilitating cramps in it. If I get if I get body wash in my urethra, I'm like I could kill myself. I had a paper cut while I was doing my makeup. I was like, I'm gonna be so. I know it's fucking wild. I don't have a high pain tolerance. I really don't. Oh, I have a high discomfort tolerance. I don't have that. Drag. Yeah. Like yeah. running, like a small, a small amount of discomfort. For, I can do that. Yeah. Real pain, illness. If I get a cold, I'm like David. I think you should stay home today. Yeah. Just sitting here and look at me. No, we, we need to find. Get the notary over here. We need to draft as well. <laughs> Speaking of, we should talk about that soon. A, the dying out last. Our accountant today was like, "You need to get your will together." No, I know. I, I said, "What do you know that I don't?" Who's even talking? To no, me? I know. I have mine on a notes app, and apparently that is not legal tender. It's not legal. No, it's not a legal document. I know, because you never know. And listen, I'm not trying to be morbid, but like the chances of us dying on that bus are very high. You think? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> think of it. I mean, the the driver was fierce. What are the chances of you dying through the video time? They're uh, greater or equal to <laughs> that. But I mean, like, <laughs> but but it's just I'm saying like that. There's just a many chances, and also the bus. Man. But the private plane. I, when that private oh. plane showed up, but it, when it showed up and it was a normal plane. I was like, great. Yeah. What do you, you think think the small planes are great? What if we do like a kiddie pool with wings on it or something? Okay. What if we went through all that trouble to book a private jet and then they just put two of us and left everyone else? Okay. But no, seriously, like, getting into a car in my neighborhood, it's just a, a death rate 2000 every day. Yeah. So. Oh my god, no, but we can't talk about cars in that country. It's like a formula conversation. We're driving here? On the highway? Weaving. No. 90 miles per hour. No, no Merge, Merging at 120 miles per hour onto the 101 into the fourth lane to the left. Crazy. It's so fucking Passing insane. Passing between cars. It's so wild. It's so wild. I've never been on a freeway where it's like, okay, I got to go 70. Now I'm ground to a halt. And then I got to, it's like so bizarre. And then it's really, really dangerous. And plus people are testing there. They're doing TikTok. They're dyeing their hair. <laughs> they're like, it's crazy. They're on offer up. So yeah. is it first? Cherish. They're on Cherish. <laughs> they're on first dib. <laughs> Looking at limbs. Um, oh, I guess oh. that's it. Oh, uh, bye. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We do have to th uh, think of a, a slightly more organic way to wind down. Okay, well, we have on later. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. By the way, we're thinking of doing a gallery wall of fan art here. Let me know if you think that's cool. Yeah, I don't know. And are you guys LGBT? Y'all LGBT. Don't make me drink alone. <laughs> bye. bye. <laughs> Start your credit journey with Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com slash balls. That's Chime.com slash balls. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank and a pursuant to a license from Visa USA Chime checking account and $200 qualifying direct deposit required to apply for the secured Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card. Regular on-time payment history can have a positive impact on your credit score. Impact the score may vary and some user scores may not improve. Out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply except at MoneyPass ATMs in a 7-Eleven or in any all-point of Visa Plus Alliance ATMs. 